So meeting is now streaming live. So say hello to everybody on Facebook. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. So today we're going to be doing. Oh, no, I don't want to end the meeting. No. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> that was quick. Then <laughs> <laughs> he hit the wrong button. Hello, bye. Um, yeah, so today we're going to be doing astrology readings, and this is for um, Monday the 14th through to Sunday the, I don't know, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday the 20th, okay, through to Sunday the 20th. Okay, so the 14th to the 20th of March, 2022. And as you can see, we've got lots of people here um, ready to um, pull some cards for you for each of the birth signs and um, to basically hang out and have some fun with us. So um, all I'm gonna ask is please, can you share? We're seriously shadow banned here, seriously. So. Um, the best thing you can do for me, Greg, or any of us, please, is to share it, okay? It means a lot, okay? So, um, but um, yeah, so I'll be, well, we'll all be following, I'm sure, um, the comments as we go along. Um, so if you want to comment or anything or join in, you can all pick cards there if you want to. There's nothing stopping you joining in online. Greg's threatened to pop in as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a bit of a party, really. So let me and abundance is coming through too. Yeah. I jumped out while I was trying to shuffle these cards. Oh, very nice. Six of coins. So there's my mum. Hello, mum. I wish you could join in, mum. I don't know what's going on here. I got cards jumping out every time. Here. <laughs> Greg or Vera, would you send my mum the link? She may come on. She may do. I don't know. There's my darling on there. You should send her it each mom? time and she in the end she'll just think she might just join, mightn't she? I know, she might. Yeah. Hi Brandy, we're having a hangout. We're doing the astrology all together. Mm. Rita Ann Burns, hello. I've, I've sent it in Messenger for her. Uh, oh, she hasn't got Messenger. Bugger it. Oh. Oh, she's what? taking her teeth out. She's not. Oh, good. no. All right, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes do too, but not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Bax. Hello. Oh, we've got Sherry too. Oh, this is great, isn't it? So, hello, Sarah. Oh, that's lovely. Um, okay, so we're all going to start with, um, or what are we going to start with? Which one? I've got to find you, Jimmy Flips. Does anybody want to pick a collective card just for now? Just until I can find my, my slips. There we are. I've got them. <laughs> oh Julie no we're doing astrology today darling we're doing astrology readings so yeah we're just okay doing well you said pick a card I got the tarot the tower oh the tower okay well, I can a see lightning it. strike things yeah. are going to change the artifices are falling you're um you might have built on shifting sands. Ooh, I can think of so, something that was built on shifting sands, but we won't talk of that. <laughs> well, that's the I, it, that could be the government, so couldn't it? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. But uh, I am very cautious about talking about anything political um, on any of these medias other than BitChute and Rumble. I know. Oh, I no. did figure out, I think, though I haven't actually checked the email to be sure, but I do know what I might have talked about that got me another strike. Oh, you do? On my new account. 
God. Really? This, <laughs> this Gestapo yeah. thing's got to stop, hasn't it? You know. Censorship has got to stop, yes. It does. I I'll got go a through. feeling it will. Pardon? I got a feeling it will oh, stop. It will. I know. Well, I did too, but apparently <laughs> it's gotten worse. Now. Now they will get you for things you didn't even, that weren't yeah. a problem before. <laughs> they just arbitrarily say, oh. Brand, well, we Brandy just it. said she's been shadow banned on HAPS. I thought HAPS was one of our safe ones. Yeah, well, I've heard things about HAPS, so I'm not going to talk about that. Oh. Mm. But that's coming mostly from my guide, so. Right. Take that with a grain of salt, too. Okay. Yeah, it can also, Greg's just said it, and it can also be things that you said years ago that they just, just bring up now. And it's like, you know, how can that be when all the censorship is coming on now? Do you see what I mean? It's like, mm -hmm. how can they then restrict you from years ago if that's nothing to do with now? The new rules, the new rules. So, yeah, it's all wrong. Hello, Colette. Yeah. Well, Hello. but I mean, yeah, they did that on my uh, Phil Christopher's one, too. This is was on my Emerald Dragon one. Yeah. Dragon Reiki, which, gosh, folks, it's mostly about healing. <laughs> yes. So um, this week, guys, these, these lovely people um, either come to psychic development, although you know sometimes it's just to hang out <laughs> but psychic development and tarot tuition um and um i just put it out there this week that if there was anybody who fancied having a go at doing astrology readings with me this week so i'm going to tell you it's going to be a long one yep it's going to be a long one um so some of these people may back out and I do understand that that's absolutely okay um I will continue to the end though so you're all right if you'll have one prediction <laughs> and that just means my predictions will get longer <laughs> as we go along <laughs> if people back out so you'll still get the same amount of information so oh, I won't back out then. yeah just just let uh, Ali know if you don't want me to do it I'll, I'll back out right away <laughs> oh no please I'm really excited about everybody and how we're all going to work together no I'm loving well, it. I don't want to detract from all these lovely ladies here. No, we're going to work together. We yes. Love you. I, I, yes. Definitely. We love you, we Phil. The, yes, we need the, the masculine energy perception input. I love it. Oh, we missed no. you when you went the other oh, no day. Pressure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we missed you the other day. We did. So, oh, sorry, but you know, when your lady calls, your lady calls, and you have to. Oh, yes, I understand. I thought that might. I mean, okay, uh, but at least this, you is, can... this is the thing you should all know. Me. I take that still part right? of my name really, really seriously. So, just so before we start, um, I'm doing a raffle. There are um, four main prizes to choose from. There'll be two main winners and two mystery prize winners. So that's four prizes in total, okay? Um, you can choose between one of Greg's wonderful t-shirts, the tie-dye t-shirts. Um, you have to pay the shipping costs, but the t-shirt is free, okay? The rest of it, all the shipping comes with, okay? So um, there is a choice of a 30 minute reading with me, um, or you could choose one of these, these lovely cups here, aren't they pretty? So, are those roses, flowers? Yeah. Pretty. Yep. Did you make that? No. Oh. No, it's got gold, gold at the bottom. But they're lovely. They're mugs. You, you know, you can drink your hot drinks from it. Um, or we've got this lovely lotus flower candle holder. I love them. I've got a purple one of them. So, so there's your choices and obviously two mystery prizes. If you wanted to go, this is where it got confusing on YouTube. <laughs> Um, it's not confusing on Facebook because everybody knows what it is. Um, but the, the cost for the raffle is one pounds if you are inside the UK. If you're outside the UK, £2.50. That helps with my shipping costs, obviously, because you don't pay 
for this shipping, the raffle pay, prizes pay for that. Okay, Greg's t-shirt, if you choose that, you have to pay the shipping. For me, you choose my stuff, you don't. So <laughs> that's kind of it. Does that sound, doesn't sound complicated, does it? So two pounds in American terms is $2.50 a go. It, that's how much it is, about $2.50. Okay, so um, there is um, a raffle going. And I can't find the, what's it? But you can pick a number. Um, <laughs> there. You can pick a number randomly and I'll pick you a random number or oh Greg's just said he'll do free shipping if you're in the US it's only if you're outside the US that he will then charge the shipping costs okay so all right um for the t-shirts okay so they are the choices of numbers you've got there okay and Greg will put in the chat, won't you, darling, um, your paper. Can you put me for number eight? Yes. Number eight is Vera. That's coming up, Ellie. Ellie? What? This is Concha. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello. I was trying Hello. to answer both because Greg and Vera was talking. And oh, I'm got... sorry. Vera, what did you just say? It's coming up. What do you mean? Well, then I'm um, going to be 58. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, oh. eight. Yep. And eight. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Sorry, what did you say, Concha? Um, do you have 53 and 48? I'll add 53, as you said. So yes, we have 53. Because I didn't know whether to do the last three <laughs> or not. Uh, <laughs> okay, 53 and 48. That. And 48? Uh, yes, please. Poncha, you've got that. Okay, so okay. you don't Thank pay you. me, you pay Greg. Okay, so okay. it's the, the GGREGG8 at hotmail.com. And he's put it on the chat. All right. Oh, okay, great. All right, I'll get it there. All right, thank so you. If there, if there is anybody um, who wants to go on the raffle, um, then you just let me know. And I'll keep checking it in between when we're doing the readings. When other people are doing it, I'll check. Okay. So we've now got to decide whether we're doing fire signs. Let's who let's who who can we decide? Um, because because Carla, I'm going to choose Carla. What should we start with? Earth, fire, air, or water? Um, water. We're starting with water signs, okay? All right. So, so water signs. So we'll start with Scorpio, then we'll do Pisces, and then Cancerians, okay? And I'll be talking about the raffle in between okay oh with that cup you get a really nice little spoon as well look spoon cute right put that there okay so I think it's best I go first here we are and then I haven't had time to print out yours, Vera, I'm sorry. Okay, so. That's okay, Ellie, you don't have to apologize. You know. I do. <laughs> Everyone shouting out, Scorpio! <laughs> Judy, you won. <laughs> and I said air. <laughs> okay so let's have a look and see what's going on with Scorpios this week okay I'm this gonna week. need a something with him on a picture behind me because right now you cannot see what I have next to me no so this is the 14th through to the 20th of March okay so let's have a little look
All right, so what I'm seeing for you. Okay, so I see that there is, um, it's like a, a strong um, psychic awareness that is building up, okay? And it's not just you. I feel as if you're noticing it with people around you that perhaps aren't that spiritual, you know, that you, you didn't even think they were. And then all of a sudden they'll come out with something that is really uh, very profound and that's gonna, you know, stir you on and, um, and make you feel as if you wanna maybe encourage that a little bit, but not make too much of a fuss in case they kind of draw back again. Okay, so, so yeah. Um, I feel that there is something around you that is getting you angry or cross and you're having to hold back. You're having to hold back and you're having to break free from, um, you know, the, the issue that you're in. It's like, you just wanna get out of the issue that you're in. There is anger around you, frustration, and you're really wanting to stop basically the, um, I don't know, the, is conflict. It feels as if it's conflict, okay, that is around um, and drama, okay. So by the middle of the week, the middle of the week I'm seeing, um, it's like lots of changes happening. Um, and this is to do with, I feel, money um, and the way money is flowing in and out of your life. So it feels as if it's like a drifting of money. I'm also feeling very strongly about you putting up boundaries and saying, this is okay, this is not okay. And this is all to do with how your finances are coming in or what is being spent um, maybe how other people are expecting you to maybe fork out money that you haven't got. Um, it's all to do with trying to get that balance back and say, this is fair, this is not fair. Um, but there's definite changes to do with money. And at the end of the week, the end of the week, there is new keys I'm seeing, okay, that are opening new doors. For some people, that will be, <coughs> sorry, literally. And um, for other people, that will be kind of like a metaphorically speaking, opening new doors, new adventures, um, mm -hmm. new ways to go forward. I'm seeing a very bubbly person around, somebody who they are very um, excitable. Um, this person is, um, is definitely drawing closer to you. If you are this type of person, then maybe you are the one um, that is becoming more um, bubbly and feeling lighter and happier with your life. Um, if it's someone else, then that person is drawing you um, out of kind of your shell and making you more um, joyous, okay? And the uh, ability to um, follow your dreams is very strong. Okay, so there you go. That's what I see. Who else wants to go next out of you guys? Hit it, Carla. <gasps> Go on, Carla. Hit it. Now, Hit please, I want you in the chat, I want you to send lots of love because these people have not done this before. Um, obviously, you know Vera has, you know Phil has, um, but this is all new, okay, especially live. So um, just send in lots and lots of love. Okay. You're the director of your team. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I feel Scorpio, for the beginning of the week, there'd be, oh, well, something has got to be right for someone, isn't it? Someone um, will be cleaning, cleaning, clearing their shelves, organising things like plants and that, having to clear up, um, you know, taking dead leaves off and that I've seen. Um, and, yeah, just basically going through stuff and... Yeah, and then to middle of to the end of the week, I'm seeing that Scorpios will be reminiscing about the past, thinking about things that happened and that, and thinking about good times, but also thinking about things and maybe people they've walked away from, situations and that that's making them feel sad. Um, where they should. Um, just flow with life and just see the good things and that you know and obviously there were lessons they had to learn and that for it but on a positive note they've got to yeah just feel feel good about um all the things that are in their life at the moment and 
the things that are for the future. Um, yeah. That went with mine because I said about wishes. So your 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 cards are saying the same thing. Yeah. So. Well, part of it was um, automatic writing, and part of was um, the cards I got well done. to the end. Well done. So could the shelves and the, the you saw people picking things? Could that be gardening as well? Maybe some people might be gardening. I, I saw on a white shelf. I saw the plant pot, but there was dried leaves on that on it, and and they were moving it, it was being moved. So yes, the shelf's being cleared and that, but they're also, we could also actually, also it could be, because um, of this card, also it could be like taken away or look, um, debris or, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but, debris. Yeah, and because they want, um, yeah, fresh start and yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Thank you, Carla. Okay. Okay. Who Thank wants to go next out of you guys? Well, I was just trying to make sure I've, I've got them all here. I felt compelled to work with um, chakras. Good. Um, so I was just trying to make sure that I have them all. Carla, Julie just said, bravo, Carla. So thank you, Julie. Um, and she okay. said, thanks all of you for doing this. OK, so this was Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. OK, well, it's a fire sign. So, I, you know, I feel like I'm naturally drawn to the reds. So the um, the root chakra. OK, so. Just going through and seeing what pops up between these color cards for Scorpio. Okay. All right, so this is energy. All right, so with the energy card, and then these are the chakra love cards, so. So this is the, um, so this root chakra message is brought with the energy of snowflake obsidian crystal. And the card says safety in the hurricane of life, a strong foundation will keep you safe. So I'm feeling like these cards are letting you, you know, compelling you to tune into the energy of your root chakra and bring in the feelings of safety, of trust, um, you know, that, that you're grounded, that you're, that you're secure. Lovely, thank you. That's wonderful. Root chakra is also good for money, isn't it? It's good for money. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, we like that. <laughs> so, um, we heard some good news. We don't know how true it is, okay? We don't know how true it is. And I'll be careful with how I say this because we have to be. Um, but there is a video that's floating about on um, Facebook about a man that got visited by a lot of... Um, law enforcement people and secret service people and Hi. when asked who is the president because they were asking some very strange questions this guy used to be a sheriff i believe or he was in law enforcement was it sheriff yeah i've seen um, that video so um when asked you know he said he, he thought they're a bit strange and he said so in, in your opinion who is the president of the united states and he said, mm. I'm not going to say it. El, El Dono. Oh, yes. Oh, possibly. <laughs> he said him. He said him. Ronald, and, uh, mm -mm, yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, he said that there are, um, he's, been, he's been noticed to be a person who is kind of out there um, in a good way. And that they, you know, they told him some other things that he could not disclose right now. 
but he said that things are really moving on and it's exciting. He then phoned up a friend who is um, linked with the banking system and the banking system um, is changing big time. Um, he, this guy had gone on a six month course to, uh, for the changeover to take place. And he said within the next three months, Yes. Just want to share that. It may or may not. I don't know. It may or may not be right. Yeah. I'm just giving you I don't that think he looks sincere. I've seen it. My friend sent it. I looked and she she was like, yeah, you know, his, you know. No. Um, I, I watched it and he didn't look sincere. I, so I didn't I watch felt, it. I felt he did. I yeah? felt he did. Yeah. And I think if you look back on a lot of longer term predictions, yeah, it's all about that now. It isn't? fits in a month, everyone is getting money. It's true. It's true. So that's why, you know, Sheree, with your prediction with the, the root chakra, that just kind of like tweaked it to me. And I thought, oh, exciting. I mean, we know this is going to happen. We know this is going to happen. We don't know whether these videos are right or wrong. As Cara said, we don't. But I want to believe in the truth. I want to believe that there is something bigger happening and I think it doesn't hurt any of us because remember we are creating our own future yeah. and if we believe it's never going to happen it's never going to happen it's then never it won't, gonna happen. It? Oh. we're pushing that out there yeah. so we need to start saying it's going to happen it's going to happen yep. it's going to happen we will then create our future <laughs> and that's yeah. all I'm going to say on my soapbox yeah. and Phil is ready <laughs> Phil is totally ready. Oh, God, he is ready, isn't he? Okay. <laughs> He's like, I'm like, no, ready. It's not the sun. <laughs> is that the sun, Phil? This is the first card. So, Scorpios, you dear water sign, yeah. you are going to start out awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then, in the middle of the week, Try connecting with your star brothers and sisters because you got the star card. Yay! I have the star card. And then on the weekend, you are going to reap the rewards because the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. Woohoo! Awesome. That's my awesome. reading. <laughs> Yay, okay, I I under it. two minutes. That's all I want to know. <laughs> seen your side this side of you phil i love it <laughs> i've seen it lots of times i love it um okay so with chuck concha because i'm not sure stephanie's just hanging out aren't you stephanie she's just hanging out okay. so we've got concha and then we're finishing with the or she's going to finish off with the card for that sign aren't you, okay stephanie? for scorpio at the beginning of the week um i got a reunion of souls um so there must be some kind of um uh, realizations coming to them at the beginning of the week and uh, in the middle of the week there will be changes you can't see them I'm using the shaman healing deck um, it looks like those changes will be from all this reunion and everything that's going on um, uh, it feels like um, There'll be good changes. There's a lot of gold in the back of this one. So I don't know. Whatever it is, it, it's going to be good. And towards the end of the week, you will you will have to use some discernment. And I guess that's with uh, the reunion of whoever or whatever it is. Um, and there will be some feminine energy backing that up towards the end of the week. So it's um, it's a good week for changes. Nice one. Thank you, Concha. That's wonderful. We're all so professional. I'm <laughs> so impressed with everybody. Well done. Okay. Vera. Well, this time, because we have a whole lot of group, I've chosen to use the angel prayer deck. And the energy deck came out. And I feel extremely energized with this card even wanting to stick with who I am <clears throat> and that's a, a week and it says transformation archangel Satkiel and it says thank you Satkiel for supporting me to transform 
from my past challenges. And the energy that I do get from that car that is, it feels like it's gonna explode around my heart. This can be hard, but I think when everything that comes from the heart will feel true, will feel satisfying, it feels love. And it, as if this week is gonna be a huge change in everything you've been longing for, but that it actually is going to happen. So something in your life and in, in the things you do is gonna transform in something. Well, yeah, I feel I feel the love explode from from my heart space like. And there I've it got is. a really good feeling about this week. I do. And yeah, it's holding the cup, and it's all sparkly, bubbly, and like your brew have been brewing. And yeah, eventually it's got to come out. Baggy doodles. I love it. Okay, so we're going to go on. Um, is that everybody? That is everyone. Yep. I say, okay, so we don't have to do it in the same order, guys. We can do it in any order. All right, so, um, so does anybody else want to go first? No. <laughs> Do you want me to go first? No, not yet. <laughs> I don't okay. mind going first. You want you? Yeah, Carla. Yes. Oh, yeah. Carla. Otherwise, I'll be like, "Am I next? Am I next? Am I next?" And I might be at the end. I'd rather just yeah. yeah. Okay. What are we Pisces? Pisces. Okay. So what did I channel up? What did I just channel? Oh, I agree with you, oh. Julie. Okay. I can. I can see so I was seeing someone happy with a flower arrangement in a pot, but I also see someone in the garden um, gardening and sorting out um, yeah, gardening. Um, also, I was hearing there's um, going to be an in interesting decision about um, somebody's credit score, a scorpion's credit score. Um, so, um, that would be, I'm not sure if it's the beginning of the week, but that will be in the week. Um, so shuffle a couple of cards as well. Do whatever you want to do, my lovely. Okay, so... I have the five of pentacles. So if I'm putting that with, which I think I should do, interesting decision about your credit score, I'd choose very wisely what you're um, you're going to be spending your money on. Um, definitely at this stage. Oh, sorry, you finished. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, I thought there was a pause then and you were doing something else. I'm so sorry. Oh, should I go, should I go longer then? Or uh, that, well, that was it. Well, you can, you can say, that's what I got. And that's what I got. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's what, what I used got. to me and Vera doing that. the credit score <laughs> and then it was the five of um, pentacles. So basically, if I'm getting that with, because um, I was thinking that when I was shuffling. So basically, I'd be very careful um, making decision about how you're going to spend your money if you've yeah with that fine. yeah so right. then i'm just like okay that's it answered that um fabulous yeah. thank you carla that's, well done that's what you got for pisces yeah who else i'll go last with mine all right i don't want to influence any of them come on Here's oh, okay. okay. I'll, I'll go down. Harry's going to go and then Phil's going to go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'm actually being pulled to uh, the sacral chakra. Lovely. All right. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. All right. I'm pulling the illumination card. 
right, so let's see what the chakra love card has to say about that. Okay, um, creation. So this sacral chakra energy is um, being given through the fire agate stones. And it says creation, the flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth. So I feel like you could, you could spend this time um, kind of nurturing some ideas. Um, if you've got some ideas um, kind of running through your head, start writing them down um, and just kind of really work with your soul and, and your, and your passions and your desires and, and, and just let it flow, let it flow to see where some of these new ideas are coming from, um, coming from through creative channels. So that's Pis Pis for the Pisceans. You're muted, girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so who's next? I who's guess I'll go. Thank you, Sherry. That was wonderful. Yes. Sacral is to do with motherhood as well, nurturing, isn't it? Yeah. Bill. Dear Pisces, I'm sorry to report. <laughs> You're letting no, don't, me know. Don't carry on. <laughs> <laughs> that um, you've got the three of swords for the first of the week. And this poor girl is just brokenhearted. You can tell. Uh, so if you're going through this, know that you're not alone. Know that there are people out there that love you. And um, yeah. So uh, trust in the divine. Okay. I've got a bigger plan for you. I think so. I hope so. Well, get to the end of the week here and we'll, we'll see it's all good. So uh, the next card we have is the Seven of Wands. And you've got a, you're inspired to climb higher during the middle of the week. And this is good because you've cleared that. And the reward for striving for that higher place is the Empress card. Um, and, you know, she's all of grace, abundance. This is the Earth Mother. Mother Earth loves you. And, um, yeah, trust in your intuition and you'll get there. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot. We've got a dragon oracle card here. And it's the earth, air, the earth, water, you know, air, water, and water dragon helps you to connect to higher realms. Trust your intuition, develop your psychic abilities, be open to enlightenment, express your inner song. So Pisces, you got a song to sing. Um, hope I hope I don't because my voice is terrible. Paul's <laughs> almost singing as he's talking though, isn't he? He's like singing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. You're Thank welcome. You. <clears throat> it's me and my mama. It's me and mama then. So Concha. You're muted. Okay. In the beginning of the week, Pisces has decisions to make. Um it, it's the Prince of Wands and uh, he's indecisive. Whatever there is, go, whatever's going on has to do with money, it looks like. Um, he's got decisions to make. And so in the middle of the week, a magician came out. So ideas will be going back and forth. He'll have to make, a, or she will have to make a... a <laughs> A decision that's going to balance whatever the, uh, I don't know, it could be for like a home. I'm getting um, some kind of purchase that's going to happen. And so at the end of the week, with all of the 
all of the decisions he has to make or she has to make, um, they'll want it to be, um, it'll be a good decision. It'll be a decision that will, um, it looks like it's gonna satisfy a lot of, uh, maybe the family, friends, you know, it could be something at work as well. Um, but I'm getting what at the end of the week, um, there will be justice in whatever decision is made um, in a money situation, a home situation. Uh, it could be family situation as well. So that's what I got. Lovely. Thank you, Concha. And to finish with Pisces, with Pisces is Vera's card. Yes, I pulled the balance card for Pisces for the upcoming week and maybe you have had a period of feeling off track or about something about money you have been spending a little bit more than that had been coming in or or something in your home that you needed to get because it broke down or whatever it can make oh my god am i gonna make it well one thing, and you can try that just because you need to feel more balance in your life. You can tell the, angel, tell the angel, angels, thank you, angels, for bringing my life into balance. And even though if you don't feel it right now, and maybe you don't have to say it to yourself thank you for bringing my life in balance because oh my god yeah yeah right i'm saying it no you're telling the universe you're thanking them for bringing it into balance that can be the minute you start talking about it it can happen today it can happen tomorrow but it will come you'll tell them what you need and if you feel out of balance in your life, that's a way to tell the universe, I need your help to get my life back in balance. So that's what I got from the angel prayers. Oh, lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. Wonderful. It's my turn, is it? <laughs> I forgot. I forgot I haven't done mine yet, have well, I? <laughs> <laughs> okay so Pisces I'm so engrossed with what you lot are doing <laughs> okay so Pisces let's have a look so Pisces this is for myself and or my mama and it was her birthday on the 9th and it's my birthday coming up this Friday so happy birthday mama have a happy oh, birthday mama you. wash <laughs> <laughs> and Julie says that sounds right on for my son who is a Pisces conception. Yeah. So that's for you. Yep. Feedback for you. And there was also, you get better and better each week, said uh, Judy, for you. Vera. I've seen so, it. Yeah, and keep on with the compliments, guys. It gives them all, um, it makes them feel you. much, much better and much more confident. So you're all doing really well. Okay. So this is the 14th through to the 20th of March 2022. Okay, so beginning of the week, lots and lots of hard work. And the hard work is like you want to get on with it, but there seems to be something that's stopping you from doing that. Whatever that is, it will be different for all of you. But it's like, I just want to get this done. And this is happening, and this is happening, and this is happening. So um, you're having to, you know, hold back your frustrations, you're having to clear your mind, you know, try not to, I don't know, overly complicate, um, you know, what you are doing. It could be that, you know, just, just think to yourself, well, I can't carry on with that. I've just got to get on with something else, okay? And don't give yourself a hard time about it. There seems to be a tearful character around you at the beginning of the week, somebody who needs um, more understanding, more love and more affection. By the middle of the week, the middle of the week, a complicated love life situation is going to be happening, okay, for some of you. And for others, it will be a complicated relationship with family or friends, okay. This particular situation 
um, there is a lead to depression or a low feeling of um, low self-worth, um, you know, fear of being rejected and then acting as if you are um, rejecting others. You know, it's, it's an imbalanced situation and um, it will seem as if it's going to blow out of proportion. Um, the only way to do this is to try and step back and maybe not react as much. Okay, this might actually soften um, the situation. Okay, here. Okay, so um, at the end of the week, um, you're back in control at the end of the week and you're feeling so much better. Um, everything seems to be going smoothly. There may be somebody who doesn't want to talk anymore. They just want to back away. Um, it could be that you've had enough. You don't want to talk anymore, but it's like, it's like my lips are sealed. I'm done. That's going to be the feeling. And um, there's somebody in authority around the situation um, in your life. And I feel that this um, may be linked with um, having to, you, you, you having to stand your ground and saying, uh, no, no, I'm not doing that. So there you go. That's what I see for Pisces. Okay, so we're doing Cancerians now, everyone. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> cancerians okay who wants to go first with cancerians I'm ready. all right actually i feel very compelled to go first this time okay. and I'm, I'm directed right to um the crown chakras so the purple okay. this is also my moon uh my moon rising sign too so I'm I'm gonna be like, okay, what am I going to tell myself right now? <laughs> I'm still listening. I'm just making a drink and going okay. to the kitchen. Okay, I'm still yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm sharing this for myself and with, with all, all, anyone else out in the audience. So, all right. Um, ooh, the faith card is coming up. So the chakra love message with that one is... meditation to see more clearly close your eyes and this um message is being brought in with the crystal uh how light and with the faith between faith and meditation um you know oh gosh i actually have like i now i kind of know what why this is being brought up so just before it was my turn while ali was was doing hers i was starting to get a pretty bad headache um, and a little bit nauseated. Usually when that happens, I know it's, there must be intense solar energy coming in. And so I just kind of thought to myself, you know, like kind of in like a little bubble, you know, and I just, I'm like, okay, all right, father, son, you know, I know you're rocking and rolling right now and sending lots of energy, you know, but I'm, I'm receiving it in a very intense fashion right now. Um, you know, can we got to ease this back a little bit so that my body's able to integrate it better. And so I had those thoughts going through my head. And then, I don't know, maybe about five minutes later, I was feeling better. And the first thought that came through my head was like, oh, I wonder if somebody in our group uh, picked up on that and sent like some healing energy or something. And then, and then, you know, like I can feel my spirit guides coming in saying, no, you asked for that. So like, again, so have a little faith in yourself, you know, in your intuition. And, you know, because a lot of times when, when you're in that connection, you're kind of in a meditative state, you don't always have to be, you know, eyes closed in a yoga pose, you know, with incense and gongs going, you know, you can be in a meditative state of, of being anytime you, you just connect, you know, it's just a, a matter of just kind of, um, letting out of focus, everything that's going on and around you kind of putting out that little message, you know, and, and letting it sit out there. And then you come back, you know, in, to interacting and, you know, I just did a little meditative thing and I have to have faith that, you know, that, that what I'm putting out there is, is going to come back. So, yes. So that's for, for all the Cancerians out there. You needed that little that little pep talk. There you go. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Phil and Sherry came in at the same time, so Phil. I know they did. Yeah. So Phil. 
Okay, so actually, I'm going to start with the um, Angels and Ancestors card that came out. And this is a direction guardian, and it's telling you to choose your path. And uh, we can sort of see an angel there, and then a, it's actually an American eagle, which is kind of curious because pretty sure Scott's. Well, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so choose your path. So this is kind of like the chariot a card. So that's your overarching message uh, for this week. Uh, you're going to start this, uh, with the uh, seven of pentacles. Um, so you're kind of coming to the point where you're um, trying to decide whether uh, you it's ready. The tree is ready for uh, plucking, right? You're, you're going to make this harvest. You're deciding on whether you're going to harvest uh, what you're going to harvest, you know, possibly from uh, this last year, even you're still getting into that. So, uh, the, so that's your, the first of the week for you. And then um, we have the uh, nine of cups which is uh, pregnant with possibilities, um, uh, overflowing emotions, uh, though you're, you're happy about it. You know, you're not stressing about it. You're, you're kind of in joy. So that's, that's a good, good place to be, Cancer. And then um, for the end of the week, we have the lovers. And hopefully you've got a lover that's going to help you with this pregnant pause that you might be having <laughs> of course if you're a male then that <laughs> none of that applies to you. <laughs> so then it would be uh your girlfriend's <laughs> got a problem <laughs> no <laughs> but she's happy about it and you better be happy about it too buddy <laughs> i have to go after phil I Are you done? <laughs> I cannot believe what you just went through um, there. Oh my God. Are I'm you sorry. done? Yeah. No, that's I okay. Am. It's good. I, I probably have said enough. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to get a kick out of this one. The first card that I put, pulled for um, cancer is it's it says um, growth. This is the number 30, uh, 38 card, but in there, as you can see, there's, uh, you know, two, uni I mean, two un un unicorns, uh, two acorns. And it, what I thought of instantly was this is about a couple. Um, it's about maybe your love life. OK, um, mm -hmm. so there's something that they're there. They are together. But in the middle of the week, um, the sexual energy number 25 <laughs> came up. And it's like, okay, there's something going on, but we don't know what it is. And so I asked for clarification uh, and I used the uh, unicorn, um, the or or, um, oracle cards for unicorns and awareness came up. So it says here on awareness that um, your love, love is in the universe. Be, um, I can't see that. Be conscious of what uh, of what is in your world and in your lover's world. Look for uh, look for mutual agreement. So I don't know what that means. I, I I'm taking it that there's something coming up. Okay. And when Phil said something about oh my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> okay. Um, and towards the end of the week, you will have. A reunion of souls which means what to me it means you know that you've you've come to a, a conclusion about what what is going on in your lives your choices now will be um when you accept responsibility for your life and the choices that you make you begin to tap into the power of your uh your own spirit you'll be able to listen and to appreciate the intuitive wisdom that comes that is inside of you and apply it in positive ways um, and constructive ways ready uh, ready to face your outside world so um, 
got two clarifications that whatever this is, the beginning of the week is going to be discussion. The middle of the week is going to be um, what has actually happened with that sexual energy and a choice at the end because you will be reuniting, re, reun, reuniting with your soul and your, um, how do they, with the decision that you make in your love life or if you're in your life in general. And that's what I got. Yeah, no, that, I mean, that really compliments Hallelujah. my reading. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Can I, can I just Thank say, obviously we don't want to exclude the people who are single. Okay. People who want to be single. This, when it, when well, it I wasn't comes talking about life, whether they were married or not. I know. But when it comes to love life issues, sometimes it's relationships. So sometimes that's family stuff. Sometimes that's friendship. Okay. I'm just putting it out there. It might be. Okay. So. Okay. Or just okay. a love connection. I'm sorry. Yourself. The image there just got it, carried me away with it. I don't know. <laughs> no, that's a strong message for relationships that has to go through. I'm just yeah. adding that extra yeah. bit just in case you're not in one. So, Thank you, Leo. Yes, that's very right. true. Yeah, but, but it can also be someone that never loved itself. Yeah. All of a sudden gets that connection. Yeah. So, so that's like another one. Yeah. Extremely deep. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Thank oh, you. Okay, my rooms are so romantic. What are you? <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Vera, do you want to go next or do you want to go after me? I'll go. Okay. Um, Ford Cancerians. This card came out, the miracle of prayer, Archangel Sandalfon. Thank you, Sandalfon, for delivering my prayers to heaven. Maybe, um, to me, that feels like you have knowingly, unknowingly been talking to those loved ones that are in heaven. When you think you have, they don't hear it. They, I'm just talking gibberish or whatever. You have, you can actually trust it that that message gets heard. Anything you talk about is heard by them. And the challenging part of it is, are you ready to listen or see the signs they give you that they hurt you? So maybe you find a coin on a strange spot, but that coin meant something for the loved one, for your loved one in heaven. That can be a sign that they want you to know they hurt you. So don't discard it. Maybe you find a feather and your one of your loved ones is in heaven, was crazy about birds. It may be a feather from a bird that that loved one loved very much, have had as a pet, or it can be a pet you've had and all of a sudden you find a toy you thought you had thrown away that was used by that pet. Know that that, just, just realize, just think of it, that is a sign. It can be small. And as they say, if you can't appreciate the small things, how can you appreciate the big changes in your life? Lovely. Lovely. Can I add something to that to real quick, Vera, to, to, just to totally prove your point? So my stepfather's funeral was yesterday. When I walked into my mom's house last night afterwards, that and even my, my aunt heard it. I heard like something drop, like when I walked into the, the, to the little foyer. And even Patty's like, 
what'd you drop? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm look, look at, looking around. There was a dime on the floor. Now I didn't have change in my pockets. I didn't have, you know, my changes secured in my purse in a zipper. Then when I got home last night to, to my house, I walked into the dining room. There was a dime on the, on the dining room floor. Wow. So if anybody ever doubts, you know, messages like that, and, and I even specifically looked up and dimes are, you know, from loved ones on the other side, reaching out to you. So yes, it definitely is a sign. And that's probably why that dime came up in my words. Yep. Yeah. Also, when Vera was talking, I felt something brush my arm. Wow. Which, which I don't usually get like physical, like touch from spirit, but yeah, that was someone like that on my arm. That's nice. what I was like, <laughs> what's that? And I got emotional while I was saying all of it. Yeah. Oh, it's true. It's true. Yes, it okay. is. So, um, things too. <laughs> pardon, Phil? I said all Cancerian things too. Yeah. Every one of those. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so for Cancerians, um, isolation. Um, you'll be feeling a little bit more withdrawn or wanting to be kind of away from the hustle bustle sometimes of, of life, or it could be somebody close to you who is um, drawing away from you, maybe, or drawing away from people. Um, you're going to notice it. You're going to notice those kind of moments. Um, I feel that it's okay, though. Sometimes we have to do that. Sometimes we need to do that. Sometimes that's just part of our ascension process. You know, so um, the it's, it's just that there's there's somebody I'm, I'm, I'm sensing somebody is going to be scaring other people because of their drawing away, though. So I will say that if you are drawing away from other people, and you want to be left alone, then can you please just say, listen, I'm going through something at the moment. It's no big deal. I just need a little bit of time out and I'll contact you in a couple of days. That stops everybody from worrying, okay? And it also, you know, gives you that peace of mind um, yourself that, you know, there's people there if you need them um, and people are aware that you're going through something. Um, but for other people, it's like then they will just leave you to it. Okay, so hopefully. <laughs> anyway, that's um, linked with somebody close here. So um, there is an important meeting coming up, okay, at the beginning of the week. I feel that this meeting, it's going to be linked with finances, work or money, okay, this meeting. This meeting is going to be quite good for you. Um, I feel that you're um, going to be able to fly. Um, now, you can take that as a travel meeting or you can take that as a business. I'm going to fly now. So, I mean, I just got the... Um, my eight of wands and you can see that just looks like traveling or moving quickly okay so at the middle of the week um there's somebody around who is going to be having words and i feel that these words are going to be um directed at somebody in official terms um this person is um so you know it could be that you know your boss has pushed you too far and you're going to be having your say um or a bossy person has pushed you too far. Either way, um, it, sometimes we have to get things off our chest. The end of the week, I'm seeing um, going forward, okay, again, and I'm sensing that you are breaking free from the things that have been um, stifling you in a way, things that have been holding you kind of back from being the true you and that to me doesn't feel like the usual, which is money or things like that. This, this feels as if it's more personal. Um, that is going to be, you're gonna be in a more carefree um, mood, which is sod everybody who isn't on my side. Sod them, I don't care. If you're not on my side, then that's your, that's your prerogative. I'm not expecting anything from you anymore because I'm my own person, I'm my own boss. And I can, I can do this. So um, from the spirit to you, you've got this. You've got it. Okay, so, and uh, so we're gonna go on now. I haven't done cancer yet. Oh, I thought 
you went first last time. That's what I'm thinking. No, I, no, I did. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I know because I've um I've got um what I channeled. Okay, so, shall I go? Down? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Sorry, Ali. Okay, so I was hearing, and I've wrote down. Okay, some cancerian somewhere will be debating to go forward with a project. Um. So basically, they've got to make the time to go forward and complete this project because um, they've been they've got a lot of blockages, so they need to release their those. And I also heard um, they need, you need to they need to stay in control of their finances. Um, and also, I heard Spirit saying about um, someone's been thinking about buying a bag. So. Um, some cancerian somewhere will be thinking of buying a bag when they've got staying control of their finances. <laughs> um, then I pulled some cards. So um, something's happened in the past with, I'm not going to say a relation, um, lovers now, I'm going to say a relationship because of what you said, yeah. Um, something's happened in the past relationship. And they've been quite slow and to decide um, to make a choice. Um, because there's something's happened and they need to basically forgive and learn from the experience. Because um, there's still an attraction there. So it probably is actually um, lovers. Um, so basically they need to talk, to talk it out. That's what I was getting, um, the Cancerian. Lovely. That's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant proof there we've got going on. So um, we'd love feedback this week, guys. So please let us know how it's going on. So say hello. So we've got lovely Sarah Randall. Hello, Star Family, she says here. Hello, Sarah. Um, Jill, um, Simonite, uh, Debbie Hempel, um, Mike Claywell, Stephen Wilkins, Rita Ann Burns. I think I've, and you, you'll see. Hamay, I'm no good at, at names, so I'm sorry if I got your names wrong. I very, very apologise. Sorry. Never <laughs> 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 really any good at it. <laughs> okay, so. Um, so who's going to decide? Um, so Stephanie, um, can you decide whether we're going to do fire signs, earth signs, or um, air signs? Fire. Fire signs. Okay. So we do. That sounded very fiery. Fire signs. <laughs> Definitely fire signs. Okay. So we're going to start with um, Leo then Sagittarius, and then Aries. All right. Oh. Anybody in particular want to go first? Because oh, Phil was, was um, neck and neck with the... Do you want to go first this time, <coughs> Phil? Yeah, sure. I can lay them out right now. Okay. Ah, uh, there's, there's Steph's kitty. We sent him lots of love the other day. Oh. Thanks. I'm in my bedroom, so that's, this is where he stays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. The police didn't send Stephanie some healing. She's not feeling very well today. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry to hear that stuff. Okay. Yeah, I went to the, well, you know, in the States, we call it the dock in the box, you know, one of those urgent cares and sat out in the car and um, I let him swab me because I have to go to the dentist. So I don't have any Rona, no strep, no flu. And they said it's all allergies, but I've been sick as a dog. <clears throat> they don't, they don't work. They don't pick up the right things. I had exactly the same symptoms as my daughter. And when I had to test myself, it was like, I didn't have anything and she did. And it was like, uh, 
Yeah, those tests are a little... We're both, yeah. we're both got exactly the same symptoms. We are both exactly the same poorliness. And yeah. 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 The, Sarah says, I set my astrology assignment aside to hear your predictions. I enjoy the prediction and the lovely vibe. From you, beautiful humans, happy Sunday vibes. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. you, Sarah. <laughs> oh, that's so lovely. Come and join us if you want, just to hang out. We'd be happy to have your energy here. It's in the classes chat, the, the link. Are we... Yeah, we're ready. We were just um, biding time while you would get your card seated. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start out the week, Leo. Uh, you said uh, from to the 4th through the 20th, right? Or It's the um, the 14th through to the 20th. 14th through the 20th. Mm. So, Leo, you've got the four pinnacles, and you seem to be jonesing on something or for some reason. Or are you worried about your money? Yeah, I, I'm hearing that there might be a bit of a money worry and, you know, I guess with the current times, I can kind of see that. Um, ah. uh, for the middle of the week, you've got the judgment card. So you're going to either have to come to some judgment or you may be dealing with... Um, I'm hearing the police or some official person. We'll just say some official person. Um, yeah. However, don't stress because you got a major arcana here and it's the high priestess. Uh, I would say going with this, uh, this is not going to be a bad uh run in with them it's just um i'm hearing it's possibly a speeding ticket or something like that don't um don't make it don't let it escalate is what i'm hearing and um yeah uh trust your intuition i'm hearing i know that's a little hard for you leo you're usually i'm going full force ahead but no i'm saying Tap into that um, that intuition, right? Yeah, that's the, what I'm getting there. Is um, you're gonna start trusting your intuition more after this little incident in the middle of the week. So this is gonna be a growth thing for you. It's not gonna be like a bad thing. You're gonna you're gonna grow. Uh, from this uh, interaction is what I'm going to tell you, okay? And um, overall, you're going to have justice in this matter. And um, yeah, you might even be able to beat the ticket is what I'm hearing. <laughs> so That's good. good luck there, Leo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks, Phil. Okay, who's the next? I don't mind going. Carla, okay. Um, okay, I was hearing about um, someone wants to buy a house. They're debating whether to buy a house or stay put. Um, so I've asked for more um, information on that. So I did the tarot's. Um, so basically, there's a bit of a conflict, I feel, with, I don't know, somebody. Um, around getting this house or staying put. Um, but this person definitely wants to move. Um, so it's basically stopping the move is um, juggling of money. Um, so they don't know whether they should um, get work extra hours or 
get another job to get the money to buy this house. Um, so they need to seek some guidance and um, yeah, they need to seek some guidance with that. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah. That's lovely. So Carla's, Carla's readings I'm noticing are very, very much for somebody because they're very specific. So there's somebody, yeah. this is what I mean, who, you know, is, is linking with that. So it's, it's a somebody, mm. so, um, who is obviously reading these because they're very specific. Okay. So Thank you, it, Carla. I, th I think it's really important because that person that needs to hear it. Yeah, they will hear will it. Will come across this video. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And, they will. Sarah wrote something also for Phil. Spot on, Phil. A wee bit of worry on money and financials for long term. Leo Ascendant and Fire Marshal cited us for gas grills at condo. condo. Yuck. I no, resonate no. with this. We are fighting to reverse this no grill rule. Lol. Right on. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. Am I hearing oh, that? Mine was specific for somebody too. Yeah, yeah. So it sort of felt that way the way I, hearing, the way I was reading it. Am I hearing that right? That you're not allowed to grill outside some, in some places in there? Apparently. That's ridiculous. I know. How are you not supposed to grill up? I can understand bonfires, you know, because people have their washing out and things like that, but. Really? Someone's camping or something. They really? won't be able to. Anyhow, craziness, Sarah. Crazy, isn't it? Anyway, who's next? Who's I mean, next? the important thing to remember about that is that uh, she's getting the justice card as the overarching yeah. thing. So she'll get justice on this. You did say that. Yes, you did. Yeah. Okay. All right, at the beginning of the week, I got the devil. Okay. Um, there's a situation that uh, has presented itself. I'm not sure what it is. Um, it could be a decision about what pair of shoes to wear to work next day or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting that there's a decision that needs to be made. The, you know, the, um, I'm getting that it's it's a decision. It's almost like a binding something that you've um, you're making more of it than what it should be. Um, and I don't know if it's because of a stubbornness inside of you that you're feeling I shouldn't have to be making this decision, you know. <laughs> but it's there, and towards the middle of the week. Um, you start, you got the fool. This is crazy. Because it's like you're, um, you're putting faith in something that, which is probably your intuition about the whole thing. You want to, um, you know, whatever it was at the beginning of the week, you know that it's, it's something important. Uh, and you, you have to, I guess, unbind yourself from thinking, think outside the box, I guess, is what, what I'm getting. Think outside the box, because at the end of the week, whatever that decision that you make, you're, you're looking at the sun, um, it's going to come, it's going, going to turn out in your favor. Um, it's almost like it, it is, it will be a lesson learned. Um, and I'm, I'm just thinking that this, this whole week is going to be a lesson for you, um, for, an, for, for, if it should come up in the future, uh, it may never come up in the future because you're going to take care of it now this week. That's what I got. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Well, this is interesting because, you know, I, I have brought, you know, with me in my setup, these soul cards, but so far I haven't felt any compulsion to use them until now. So 
Now these are these are totally intuitive cards. There's no book. There's no words. You know, on the cards. All right, so this is the card that has come through. Oh, I can't make it out. She got tears. She got. Yeah, I. Okay, <clears throat> Allie, <laughs> it's a light language message. Is that? Yeah. Is that could be okay. Of course it is. Okay. Okay, that's so that, that will go to whoever that's supposed to go to. <laughs> Probably anyone who's watching this will get something from that. So it's a vibrational energy, everybody who doesn't understand light language, because that might be some people that don't. Um, it is from the galactic energies in my feeling. Okay, it comes from the galactic energies it's channeling through. And, um, you know, feel it, close your eyes, feel yep. it. Pardon, Phil? I said I can tell you some things about it if you want me to. Yeah, I'd like to hear that. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, coming from the Sirius B uh, light family. Um, these are um, aquatic uh, beings, somewhat related to the, uh, the dolphins and the whales, though different we'll just say that and that is a a song of uh rebirth and, and growth so at, at least that's yeah that's what i'm getting rebirth and regrowth you thank feeling you, that Shuri? yes thank you thank you oh that's lovely thank I, you and i, I, I know that, that, took a lot, that took a lot of guts to do as well Sure, because yes. you haven't done that publicly before, have you? No, <laughs> I've never been live. Like you that. did a very good job, though. <laughs> that was a really that, nice that's, message. That's I mean, amazing. there's more nuance to that. I mean, I can't, you know, break out everything, but that's yeah. the overall feel. That was beautiful. I felt that in my heart. Yeah. Thank you, Concha. Wow. Well, that was thank great. You, thank you. Okay. Has everybody been for Leo yet? Or is there just Vera? Just Vera and me. Do you want to go, Vera? You want me to go? Okay. All right. So this is for Leo's. Let's have a look. Okay, Leo's psychic, psychic, psychic stuff. Um, there's lots of intuition around you. I feel, watch out for those signs. Um, didn't someone else just say that in this one? Or is that the last one? No, I, I said that, yeah. Yeah, um, because they're saying that um, this is all about stepping onto new ground, experiencing different things in life. And some of those, some of those kind of experiences are gonna be very new to you. Please be open to them. Um, be open and let the energy flow through you. Um, some people are gonna be meditating. They've never meditated before in their life. Um, some people will be having visions. They've never had these before. And there'll be other people whose dreams are going to be very much out there, okay? Very much out there. And it's like, well, I understand exactly where that dream what that dream was meaning, what, what does that mean? Um, some of you will be experiencing different kind of galactic energies 
okay, around you. It's like channeling through things that are, you know, very different. Do you see what I mean? It's like, well, this isn't coming from any earth bound person. Okay, so, you know, and um, if there is anybody out there who is interested in um, light language and wants to know more about it, I can pass you over to the details to Sherry and this Sherry is, is brave enough to put her details out there herself. If not, you can come through me. Okay. Either way, I'll leave it over to Sherry. What do you think, Sherry? Yes. Thank you. Through me? Yes. Yes. Till, till I get things a little bit more official. Yep. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. All right. So yeah, just, um, just ask. Okay. Um, the other person to ask about light language is our lovely Phil here, who also um, yes. does light language there. Okay. So um, so yeah, it's experiencing new things spiritually and um, big time. I'm seeing there's going to be some forms, documents, paperwork, okay, in the middle of the week that are going to be, um, it's going to be kind of rocking the world a bit, okay, because there's a bit of eruption coming up in the middle of the week. We've got the tower card. But right next to the tower card is the Ten of Pentacles. So if that isn't to do with money and changes to do with money, I don't know what is really, um, but that's quite big. Okay, there. Um, and that's the plans. Okay, so plans, money, and big changes. So that could be the old monetary system coming down, the new one coming in. Sometimes they sneak in bits and pieces in uh, people's readings. Um, even the one-to-one -one readings, they'll come in with a, a global um, prediction. So. I have to give it out where it is. Um, but on a personal note, for any of you Leos, um, that can be that there's a large amount of money. There could have been problems getting that money or there could have been disruption getting that money. That might be something that's happened. Um, and you'll need to kind of do, um, you know, application forms or do some sort of planning in order to get this, um, you know, to get this balanced right. Okay, the end of the week you're ready for a new challenge. You're saying, come on then, bring it on universe, I'm ready. Okay, it feels as if there is um, somebody who's very funny, witty, charming, kind of um, out there who wants to draw you out of your shell and make you feel buoyant and happy and vibrant again. Okay, you have been tippy-toeing around life and people and everything for far too long. Um, no, this is it now. Your fire energy, your um, lioness or lion energy is going to be coming out this week um, and uh, yeah it's all good so that's spiritually and financially and socially everything is going to be changing this week for you Leos there you go so oh yeah Vera <laughs> well I had to wait in the end I was told to wait till the end because this card came out, don't hate, meditate. And under it, it says, thank you, angels, for guiding me to love through meditation. I get a situation right in front of me that, and you're not the one, the instigator. Someone is trying to get on your nerves, trying to get you blow up, to get angry. And maybe in before you you would have gone off, you would have gotten angry, you would have started screaming or walk away angry. But this time. And it's also about just thinking about it. But this time, you just breathe. Imagine that that energy that that person is throwing at you gets deflected. Like it's a screen and all the arrows that are pointed at you will bounce off. So that energy, that negative energy or that anger will not be able to hit you because it's that person 
who is trying to manipulate you to get into an argument won't be successful because it's all his own energy. And when you put that mirror up, they cannot reach you. So you are safe, literally feeling safe. Usually you have that, where do I have to run to? What do I got to do? No, you feel safe, you're calm. And I also hear the words, because the title says, don't hate, meditate. Well, people know what meditation is, but there are also people that have no clue, that literally, that think you have to, okay, I'm going to take this. I'm just picking up a little Krishna. I have to sit down. I have to slow down my like meditation is a full on action that you do consciously but it might be even without you knowing you are already meditating just walking strolling around looking at that beautiful sky you're breathing in it is meditation you're cleansing yourself you're centering yourself with help of nature so it doesn't matter what you do. The minute you feel that all the things that has been thrown at you, on you, or whatever, falls off and you feel nothing else but peace, joy, calm, energy. And then, yeah. Then that person comes that tries to blow you over like a huge tornado. And all you can do, <laughs> I'm grounded. That's what I got. Love it. Leo. Love it. Thank you. Okay. So um, that's it then, isn't it, for um, Leo? So we're going to do Sagittarius now. Okay. Anybody particularly want to go first for Saji? Um, I um, will because then I'm then I can take a, a potty break. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm being drawn to green, and that's the heart chakra. All right. So, all right, Sagittarius, what what needs to be looked at? You might want to look in the. Oh, this is the this glasses is abundance group, to, uh, card. Ellie. Oh, what's the matter? It's all right. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Not for you. All right. So abundance. All right. Some chakra love cards that they have to say. Okay. This is coming in uh, through the crystal power of rhodonite. And it says love, love is a verb. So make it your most treasured action. And I feel like in bringing in this abundance, you know, all that you love, all that you are passionate about, all that you are grateful about, the more that you send that love and gratitude out to the universe, the more you'll receive, the more it'll come back to you. And so just focus on that heart chakra, focus on, on the love, on the positivity, uh, focus on the things that you want, what you desire, um, what's going to make you happy, what you can put out to the world to make the world a happier place. And the more that you do that, the more abundant you will become in, in all things. And abundance doesn't always focus directly on money. You know, you can be abundant in love. You can be abundant in friendship. You can be abundant, uh, you know, in, in the um, joy and satisfaction you get from your job, et cetera, et cetera. So, yes, so that's, that's what I got. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. So our lovely friend, um, Sue um, McCarthy, who's in our classes chat group on Messenger, um, can you please send out some um, healing energy urgently to her nephew who got hit by a car and is in critical condition. 
So can we all send some healing out, light our candles and, um, and send some positive energy out to, out to her and her family and obviously him. Okay. Um, and the name again, please. Um, it's Sue McCarthy's nephew, David. His name's okay, David. David. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So who is next? I, I guess I can go. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> that was all Whoever. three of you then. <laughs> Concha, do you want to go next? Okay, I um, was drawn to the power deck. And um, for Sagittarius, well, it's a courage card. Um, wait a minute. Which way does it go? This way, sorry. It's a, there you go. I don't know if you can see that, but um, whatever action you have at the beginning of the week, it takes courage. Go within um, and they're saying, don't, um, don't disregard your intuition about it. Whatever that, whatever that um, um, situation is. You will um, you will have help, um, and it's going to take courage. You're going to have to make sure that you um, listen to, to actually to go within. And one of the things that we all tend to do is is doubt ourselves, and so have the courage to make the decision towards the middle of the week, you'll feel a little more comfortable with it. And by the end of the week, you'll know, uh, I pulled from the um, Oracle cards. It says, what is the one thing you must do? There are many things you can do with your time, but what the one, what is the one thing you must do? What is the thing that you do that causes time to stop that engages your whole soul? So going within that truly contributes to people. What would happen if that was all you did? Stop waiting and get to it. So trust yourself. The decision will come. Um, and that's what I got. Uh, trust yourself. Yes. Lovely. Thank you, Concha. Oh, thank you. I've lit this candle as well for everybody. Oh, yeah. Some energy into. Okay. So, should we do Carla next, then Phil? Mine's really quick because um, I've I've heard and seen something, mm -hmm. but um, I'm trying to do tarot for the Sagittarius, and it's just I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't feel right. So. Um, I'm just going to go with, um, what did I write? Down. Okay. okay, yeah. Um, I was seeing, a, you know those 1970s cabinets with um, wooden? Well, anyway, somebody's looking for something and it's in that cabinet. Okay. Um, that's, that's it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that one. Yeah. All right. Okay. So. Okay. So, um, who who wants to go next? I suppose I can. I'm, I'm connected yeah. to that feeling now. Already. So Sagittarius. You the first of this week. Um, the 14th through the 21st or 20th is going to be uh, you're moving through troubled waters now these are mostly phasmagories of your own mind um but um you know you're moving you're you paddling you're pulling your way through these murky waters and you're going to come out into the sunshine eventually here so keep on paddling go on Uh, 
We've got the uh, hangman for the middle of the week. So um, action can might be suspended. Um, or you're being called for to have a different perspective on, on your situation. And I would say it's probably that more likely than just a suspension of that. You may have to suspend the action in order to get that perspective and see this in a, a far better light. And then we've got the, the end of the week, we've got the Eight of Cups. And so you may feel a little, um, having come through that different perspective, you might be reminiscing about um, an old uh, relationship or um, you're kind of in a, a kind of a reverie, a complete state there about uh, what's going on with yourself. Or, you know, who, yeah, you're looking kindly maybe on a, a past relationship is what I'm kind of getting there. So yeah, I can see why you might be troubled and you're suspending something but you're going to have some reminiscence about it. Uh, the, I pulled a dragon oracle card for Sagittarius, and um, this is the sunshine yellow dragon. And it's calling you to be of service, helps you to heal animals, or to nurture and respect and uh, honor your, your pet companions, your animal companions. Um, yeah, I think that's what it is. It's talking about is viewing these other uh, every animal that we interact with is on its own soul journey. It's it's moving through, you know, it's trying to accomplish something too. It's all animals. The lovely thing about animals is they are always, almost always, in the now. They are not thinking about the past or the future. They're just in the now. So that might be another message that the uh, Sunshine Yellow Dragon would be bringing through to you. So there you go, Sagittarius. Uh, I know it's going to be a rough week, but hey, you're going to get through this. And um, yeah, everything's going to be Sunshine Yellow Dragons. Thank Everybody you. Go. Thank you, Phil. It's lovely. Okay. Who hasn't been for Sagittarius yet? Me and you, I think. Is um, it? Yeah, Shereen went first, with not she? So, yeah. So, who's going out of me and you? I can't hold it. I can't. <laughs> okay. So, the angel card, angel prayer card that came out. Change those pets. and transition. I was just going to think she can't hold it. And this Look at those man. pets. No wonder you can't hold it. <laughs> <laughs> she <can't>. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I saw the card. I'm like, dear uh, naughty girl. <laughs> Under it says, thank you, Ezreal, for leading me safely through this change. When you feel, when you know there are things that have to change or Usually you think, I'm, I'd rather stay on the same path. I don't like all those changes. I like my routine, doing the things. But sometimes it can be very healthy if you get out of your comfort zone. Step out of your normal daily routine. Say, crazy when you wake up, the first thing you do is go to the toilet. Well, you don't have to. Because that's something you feel drawn to do. That's your routine, even though, yeah, it might take you a mug of coffee or tea first before you actually can go to the toilet. Know that if there are things that need to be changed in your life, 
and they're going to change because I feel there is a time, a huge time for Sagittarius that our things are going to change all of a sudden. And it can be even so crazy. You wake up in the morning because when you went to bed, maybe you were sobbing. Oh my God, I am so bored about it. Like I cannot tell this anymore. I need something to change. And you keep repeating it. But every thought you have before you fall asleep trains your subconscious mind. So if you keep repeating before you go to bed, I want to change my routine. I need to step out of my comfort zone. And it can take a week, two weeks doing that. And then all of a sudden, you are, and that can also be a certain situation, confrontation. You don't like that. You don't like those confrontations. Put that in your mind before you go to bed and make it in a way you don't have any issue expressing what you want to say. And then one morning, you wake up and you feel totally different. Something in your energy has shifted. That is when you ask that, what you want to manifest in your life before you fall asleep, you also give your guides the chance to work with you throughout your nights within your dreams. You might not remember them because it, you, it's not supposed to be, but they will help you, guide you through that change of your life. And that's what I got for you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So um, we're doing good, aren't we? Good team we are. Yeah. Good team. We've got a mixture of everything going on here. So I yeah. think we're, we are guided to do that, Ellie. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Okay. So the, um, I've got the eight of cups to start the week, which is letting go. Um, and this, this may be what we're all feeling that there is a letting go of the past, letting go of anything that is painful, anything that doesn't resonate with you anymore. And you might have been thinking this for a long time and not done anything about it, but um, this is when it's coming up. You've been holding on to secrets, holding on to kind of these feelings maybe, and not telling anybody about how deep these feelings go. Um, but I would say, you know, these people that have been letting you down, these people that have been saying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and they're not gonna help you. They've decided they're not gonna help you, even for the moment they said, I'm gonna do this for you. It's not just being forgetful. These people, you know, um, some people are there for you and some people are not in your life. And um, I feel that there is a need to let go and, you know, sometimes it's like, I'm not gonna rely on anybody. I'm just gonna do it myself. Um, and so that's what I feel at the beginning of the week is the letting go energy. Okay, um, so there seems to be some keys. I'm seeing some keys in someone's hand and that can be literal keys. Um, that can be keys to opening new doors, metaphorically speaking. Um, I'm seeing an independent energy. So I'm definitely picking up on on somebody or group of people um, who are literally moving. I'm seeing that literal, okay? New lock, new keys being handed to them. Um, but for the other people, I'm seeing um, that, you know, this is, this is your destiny. This is your, uh, your new beginnings. And your new beginnings are, you know, they might be scary, but it's, it's good for you to change and to push past you know, the boundaries that you might have put up around yourself or been hiding behind rather than the changes coming about. So independent you is bursting out um, from, you know, where you were. Okay, I'm seeing um, a party, a celebration, happy birthday, well done, congratulations. Um, something along those lines is coming up around the end of this next week. So this will be 
um, up to the 20th, isn't it? So before the 20th there, um, I'm seeing, you know, this, it's like a feeling of pride, a feeling of happiness, a feeling of excitement, okay? Um, there's someone around also who is going to be announcing a pregnancy as well, I'm seeing here, a pregnancy announcement um, and a happiness within that, okay? There's also, I'm seeing a child um, that is making their parents very proud. It's like uh, there's an award or some sort of ceremony um, to do with kind of well done kind of feeling, okay? So, so yeah, um, that's what I see for Sagittarians this week. Okay. So we're now on Aries, okay, everyone? So Aries, Aries. So anybody in particular want to go first for Aries? I don't mind going because I can go to the toilet as well. Okay, no. Yep. Um, okay. Right. Okay, so I feel... Somebody's been... Um, Stay in, staying in a lot and thinking a lot, um, being quite harsh on the self. Um, they um, gone into themselves quite a bit actually. Um, I can see also that there's going to be a big change, and with that change, it's very good positive because it will they'll start reflecting on their life a lot because they need to practice, um, you know, to be more positive um, and see the good rather than all the negative um, that they've been feeding their thoughts. It, they, um, they trust their intuition and they practice gratitude, say like in the morning or, you know, be grateful to things that you have got and that because um, that will get them out of this, um, mess that they're in um that they've brought not on purpose but they've brought on themselves because of negative thoughts um but they can get out of this um they just got to trust oh and also i was here i was um where did i write that down oh i see somebody walking around the garden and they were humming I don't know if that's could be a memory link of somebody in the spirit yeah. world. Yeah, mm -hmm. someone but they were humming as they were walking around. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Carla. It's okay. I can go to the toilet now. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. Go ahead, Phil. <laughs> so, oh, I'm sorry. You can go yep. first. Yep. You... Go right ahead. Okay. Already. So we're starting off the week with the Knight of Wands. And as you can see here, he's chopping wood. He's um so you might be working out um some aggressions, um areas I'm thinking. Um or maybe you just uh need to prepare um uh, split some more wood so that you can you can be warm. Um uh, through the spring, I don't know. Um, no, it is a. It's about a need uh, for action. You, you, you're 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 feeling motivated to get some things done. Is what I'm hearing here. So, the middle of the week, though, I'm sorry, dear Aries, but you're going to have to take a pause. You're going to have to suspend some action and uh, take another look at it. Um, you might find it hard to believe Aries, but you might have bit off more than you can chew. So it's, it's good to, to just kind of, whoa, wait a minute. Uh, you want me to split five cords of wood? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, might, you might just say, uh, yeah, no, I got better things I want to do. Um, and then we're going to end the week with the uh, page of wands. So 
it's kind of a, a pulling back, um, tapping into your, I mean, they're all wands here, really. I mean, because he's, what is he hanging from? He's hanging from the limb of a tree. So um, you might have the passion to burn, uh, the, the passion of youth. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying that, you know, and I think what they're trying to tell you is that to enjoy the, the, the weekend play. Play is what I'm hearing. Have some fun. And then uh, for the dragon card that you've got, you've got the rainbow dragon. And it says, bring the leap of joy that brings new, opens new doors. Have just trust, rediscover wisdom, expect miracles, accept opportunities. So, yeah, I mean, for the overarching energies of that dragon, the rainbow dragon, I'd say go for it. It's, uh, you've got a, we got a little bit of work to do, but it's going to, and you're going to have to take a little pause in the middle of the week, but it's, uh, it's party time on the end, you know, it's, it's the rainbow dragon. It's, yeah, it's good. Enjoy. Brilliant. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. So, um, Cherie, was you going to go then? Yep, I'll go next. And actually, you're I'm being drawn to two colors for you, orange and yellow. Okay, so. Oh, well, orange. got both of those colors in this card. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Not the synchronicity. All right. All right. Oh, okay. So this is the rejection, rejection card. So let's see what the sacral chakra is talking about. Okay. Um, sacral chakra, um, another sign had gotten this card. This is from Fire Agate. And it's creation. The flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth. Um, so I'm actually, I'm feeling from this. Um, if you've, if you have, Got negative criticism. Um, somebody talking you out of an idea. Um, you know, if you ever, you know, say as far back even in school, you know, in third grade, you know, that that there was an art contest and and you, you know, put your heart and soul into this this drawing and and it didn't get picked. You know, the winter. And, and you just kind of felt crushed, you know, with, uh, you know, about being an artist. I, I feel like there's, there's been something that you're being drawn to bring something back to, to overcome this rejection or doubt or, or hesitation, you know, due to somebody else's opinion. It's time to, to look that over and look at it with fresh eyes adult eyes, um, you know, that, that we're going through a lot of, you know, this, this rebirthing of letting go, you know, of things that have held us down and we're being asked to step into what brings us up. So that is coming from the sacral chakra. So the yellow is the solar plexus chakra. So let's see what the yellow cards are. Bring oh, there are only two. There are only two of these ones. Okay, so eeny meeny miny mo. <laughs> um, okay, so this is oh, the, all right. So attention is being brought to some anxiety, and the chakra love cards. So this is aha. So you're being you're being pulled by amber. Uh, to bring in this energy of fearlessness turn into your turn your warrior into a warrior oh i love that that's just a beautiful message all on its all on its own so yeah. there there you there you go aries <laughs> i love that Thank too you. say that again that's 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 that message just the last bit turn your oh. 
Oh, uh, turn your worrier into a warrior. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so Concha. Okay. In the beginning of the week, Aries, you're discontent or bored, or you have some kind of boredom, but I think it's more discontent over, um, it's either a decision that you've had to make and you're not really content with what you've come up with. So to clarify that, I, I pulled the uh, card that says sustainable sacred service. Yeah, uh, you only get what you only get to keep what you give away. So seek to start to share every day. Rejoice when you find someone to give your time, money, wisdom, or attention to. Give from the overflow of your bounty and notice how you're replenished even before the act is completed. So at the beginning of the week, you're kind of struggling with a decision you made that you're not too happy with or a decision that you're coming up to make. Um, you know, but then you really don't know. I, I'm getting that the discontent is, is uh, really wearing at you. But because of that decision in the middle of the week, uh, you have an accelerated motion, it says. Um, you're looking up into the sky, whoever it is, uh, it could be a family decision. It could be maybe your children. Um, I'm getting that at the beginning of the week, the discontent is not so much anymore because now you have a pretty good idea of what what you want to do. Um, the unicorn card says to trust, trust your instinct, trust, uh, you know, and there's yellow in there that that's, um, it's a vibrant card. Trust your, um, it says here, huh, what you put into life, you get back, trust your instinct. So whatever that was, that decision that is, um, is you need to trust it. And by the end of the week, you'll have success. It says triumphant success. And um, it has to do with, I think, you're, very, you're a very creative person and you, you have a lot of aspirations. Um, So you're, you're feeling that the decision you made for the family or for yourself or for whoever it is, uh, it was the right one. And you have to, you would need to, to keep your aspirations high, trust in yourself, uh, be kind, be, be, um, oh, Give to others without expecting anything back. Be, aspire for, for higher and bigger things for your family uh, or for your job, what, whatever it could be. Um, it could be a relationship. It could be um, I'm, I'm hearing medical, um, God, medical is so weird. Um, it's not a bad, it's a, it's a triumphant success, whatever that decision is, whatever the aspiration is to either um, find out more about medical, find out more about, um, I don't know, medical keeps coming up and I'm, I'm not right, I'm not quite sure what, whatever, whatever that's going to be, it's going to be a success either in your family, in your life, or as you choose to go forward. Um, that's what I get for Aries. Thank you. Thank you. And just to say disclaimer, we do not predict future health matters or anything right. like that. So just to make you clear, um, that's not what we're getting. Okay. So right. Cover ourselves there. <laughs> okay. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, that's, uh, yeah. yeah. 
Okay, it, um, who else hasn't been? So I think it's just Vera and me, isn't it? Vera, you wanna go? Sure. Okay. Um, what I feel from what she said with the medical, it can be just that you get the flu. Mm. Just very simple. It's just be aware. If you feel anything, don't ignore it. Which doesn't mean it's a bad thing because it can be just that your body's telling you, take a break. So what I got is, and let's see if this wants to go. Yeah. It says, and let's see if I can, yep. A little bit better, huh? Time, take time to breathe for Aries. And it says, thank you, angels. I breathe with ease, knowing you're here. And yes, this is from the angel prayers. And well, I'm Aries myself. And sometimes, and Aries are known for it also, they can work extremely hard. Maybe about thinking about 30, 50, or 100 different things of decisions you have to make or need to make. You can't make your mind up because it's overwhelming. Sometimes, It just helps to just sit down and that can be wherever, just on the couch, just in nature on, on a bench outside or whatever and just breathe. Because when you breathe, you can pick that one thing that is the most important because maybe the hundred different thoughts you have is overwhelming, but it can be that one of all these thoughts unlocks every single thought you want to do, every idea. So you have a hundred ideas, you don't know where to start. But then when you take that brief breath, all of a sudden, it pops in your mind out of nowhere. Trust it, because that's where you need to start. That's where you can repel, take the next step. And then all of a sudden, everything falls into place. And yeah, take a breath. Just, just thank your angels. Thank you, angels. I breathe with ease, knowing you're here. Because when you breathe, you allow your angels to support you. Because trust, they are there for you, no matter what. That's what I got for Aries. Thank you. And it's still sticking to my hand. <laughs> it's already it's, again now <laughs> <laughs> lovely um okay so i've got um somebody in authority uh gonna be around you aries people um you're gonna feel a bit let down so it seems to be a little bit of bad news there um i feel that this is um it's like a feeling of trying to push back um the inevitable so <laughs> this is very difficult to say okay so I've got to be careful in case I get into trouble here I'm going to separate the two and then you guys are going to put them together okay there seems to be some secretive behavior around you things that you need to keep secret things that aren't ready to be divulged in your life separate but not um, some, somebody linked with authority who is trying to find out information from you, link them together. 
Is that too difficult to do or not? I'll do it again. Separately, you have secrets that you need to keep. Things that perhaps don't need to be out there just at this moment in time. It's not you being deceitful sometimes, it's just you don't need to say anything yet. That's one message. The second message, someone in authority is trying to find out things from you that you are not ready to reveal. Put the two together. Okay. Ellie, um, can I say one thing? Yeah. I, I had pulled the discontent card and I wonder if that's, that it seems to correlate with that. There's some discontent because they have to make that decision or they need to, I don't know. I just, I just got that. Well, I'm not allowed to tell people to keep secrets from the big brother energy, am I? So that's why I'm saying oh, okay. not telling yeah. people that at all. Hmm. No. Okay. I'm just all right. Saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. There are two things going on there and it's up to you what you do. <laughs> anyway, because things are changing very soon. I'm just going to say that things are changing very soon. Anyway, there seems to be a large amount of money around and a nice surprise on its way to you guys, the middle of the week, Aries. Um, I'm seeing lightheartedness. I'm seeing um, a feeling here of, it's like celebration within. Um, this is brilliant. I've been waiting for this for a while. You know, um, you know this, is, this is good news, okay? I feel that this is also going to be good news because you've worked so hard and you feel I do deserve this I've worked hard all my life I've done so much and now I've got to this stage in my life that I am ready to reap the rewards from all that I have done because I deserve it okay so the middle of the week you should see some very good things coming your way the end of the week um, the end of the week is um, somebody who is um, isolating themselves away from somebody who is being a little bit, um, they're blunt, okay? This person says the wrong things. Um, they tend to be very unsympathetic to people. Um, and this person isn't the sort of person that you want to tell your heartfelt feelings to because they would literally... Um, probably reject you, laugh at you, make you feel inferior in some way. And so I feel that you're definitely, it's like because you might be feeling vulnerable and if you're feeling vulnerable, that the secret is don't be around these people um, because these people could make you feel as though, um, you know, worse, it can make you feel worse. Um, I'm definitely seeing that there is um, links with the border overseas coming up in your conversations, Aries a feeling that you might want to travel, you might want to get out there um, and see the world, um, or you're looking forward to the time that you can. Okay, so there you go, that's Aries and that's the fire signs. So we have two, two left now, we have the air signs and the earth signs. Um, okay, um, Concha, what should we do next? The air signs mm. or the earth? Earth signs. We're doing the earth signs now, everybody. Okay. So, earth signs. So we start off with Taurus, then we'll do Virgo, and then we'll do Capricorn. Okay. Who wants to kickstart things with Taurus? Taurus. Does nobody want to start? I'll start the Taurus. Okay. Um, okay, let's see what I get for the beginning of the week for Taurus. This is March, what is it? March 14th it's, through the... Yeah, 14th 20th? through the 20th, yes. Okay. Okay, let's see which card wants to pop out for the beginning of the week. Um... We have the magician, mm, Taurus. 
There's a lot of activity going around um, around you. Um, and this could be job, this could be home. Um, I'm getting vacation, some type of vacation maybe. Mm -hmm. um, huh. I'm not quite sure what, it could be a water vacation. <laughs> I'm seeing um, for the beginning of the week, you're looking, you're looking at, at a lot of activity. You're not sure what's really going on yet. Um, and this, you know, I, I feel maybe not so much vacation. I think it's in within the family or even a, a relationship. Um, Let's see, for the middle of the week, oh dear, we get the tower. So the middle of the week, something is going to explode. <laughs> it, um, it looks like, or maybe some kind of revelation for the family is, is coming into play here. Um, It seems to be someone has a, they're telling me someone has a, a, something to divulge or some, it's not a secret. It's just something that's come up that they have to deal with. And it, it will involve the family. So we're looking at maybe some confusion uh, yeah, definitely had to do some because by the end of the week, you're going to be, I got the um, seven of swords. So it's looking like things are coming to light for the family. Um, um, it could be a relationship too, or maybe just some information that's going to propel you uh, further in I'm getting like a move uh, maybe it's a decision to make a move um, moving from the home that you're in um, lots of decisions Something will come to light in the middle of the week. And it looks like, like at the end of the week, you'll be, you'll be um, researching and coming up with a solution for what needs to be done. And I'm not sure if that's a move. Maybe it's a job change. Um, I don't know, but that's what I get for, um, for Taurus. Who's next? I guess I can go. Okay. Let's see what that sweet card here. Where is it? Let's see. Let's see. So uh, we got the two of pinnacles, and uh, we're kind of juggling, uh, but what we're going to do uh, seems like we're a little carefree about it. Notice he's standing on a an infinity symbol, so all sorts of possibilities are open to him. And uh, where is the penny going to drop? So that's how you start your week, uh, Taurus. Uh, got a decision to make. Uh, middle of the week, uh, we're looking at some kind of a relationship. Of uh, being culminated with a being a deal being sealed, possibly. Uh, might be a pairing with a, a Leo. Just saying, it could be that's a possibility. And then um, for the end of the week, we have the Nine of Swords. So uh, 
sort of indicates that you've, you're letting something trouble your sleep. You're uh, too much into your head, uh, which is a little unlike you, uh, Taurus. But uh, yeah, something's troubling you and towards the end of the week. Uh, we pulled the ancestors and uh, pulled an ancestors and angels uh, card for you, which is the shaman. And he's holding the shaman's drum. So this tells me that this uh, what's troubling you uh, is coming from the spirit world. Uh, it's a spiritual message that's trying to come through, and it may be troubling you uh, towards the end of the week and either discerning what it is or uh, putting you into anxiety uh, because of what it is. Uh, what I would say is um, uh, you know, ground, uh, ground in, ground into the drum if you've got a drum to drown, ground into. Uh, if not, um, go out into nature is what I'm hearing. Go out into nature and, and ground that way. But you, you can ground this anxiety or this fear that you're going to have at the end of the week um, through some ancient practice is what I would say. So there you go, Taurus. I wish you well. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to get a drink and then potty break. <laughs> Sorry. You didn't um, put potty break there. You put burbs or something. Be or right chat. back. Be oh, I didn't, know. Be right I didn't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's, who's next? Can I go next? Because I'm actually yeah. quite, um, yeah. getting tired. It's okay. Okay, well, I was hearing, um, okay, exception, exception, okay, so somebody's had to accept the opinion of others, whether they liked it or not, and they've had to reflect back on their actions. So because of that, it's not them back, because um, they're, they're like, okay, is that real? Or am I, does, does everyone see me like that? So they're about to... Um, they're building the they're about to build this to be building their strength back um and analyzing their self a bit more um a bit more um so, so i don't know what um has happened what would, would happen um or if they're in the right or the wrong sort of thing um but anyway that's what i was hearing from spirit um, the cards, um, there's going to be a celebration and it's time. Um, it's all good. It's all time to shine. Um, it's They're celebrating something because um, they're quite creative, something. They're celebrating um, I don't know, it could be music, writing a book or something, art, that sort of thing. I'm getting tired. Okay. okay. Do I don't. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to be on because I won't be up on tomorrow. Otherwise, you can go. That's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Well, thank Nothing. you, Carla. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You. I'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah. All right. See you tomorrow. You've done a really good job, Carla. So don't. Yeah. Really well done. Yeah. Well, well done. done. It's Celestine prophecy tomorrow. If anybody's yes. interested, in Celestine That's prophecy that. week one of a fifteen-week course. You can come to individual classes if you want to. Um, see you tomorrow, Carla. Bye. 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 Oh, she did amazing. She yeah. did. Yes, she, she did. did. And she got to number seven. <coughs> oh, I wonder what you meant then. <coughs> seven readings. Yeah. Yeah. She did. Yeah, that's nearly, we're nearly there. We're just over half, aren't we? So, um, so is everybody all right? Everyone else okay? Mm -hmm. Wherever you go? <clears throat> yeah. All right. Good. <clears throat> so who hasn't done Taurus yet? Because I was out a bit. I think you and me again. Okay. And, right. and me, but I, I, I wanted, I wanted, I'm Taurus. So <laughs> I'm really enjoying like listening. Do you want to go yeah. last then? Okay. 
yeah it's up to you it's up to you okay yep that's fine all right then (coughs) i'll i'll i will i will go next and i will take the back screen off again otherwise you cannot see the cards because this time two wanted out (coughs) so two messages for taurus so that means there's big changes are coming coming up and these two wanted out to give you some support one came out in another reading balance and i this time i'm really drawn to the scale and which and the reason why i'm drawn to the scale is that i feel that for taurus sometimes the things they do and the things they need to do to replenish themselves is a bit out of balance. So sometimes it leans to, oh, I slept in way too long. And then you want to co- compensate it with doing er- way more than you normally would do. So let universe balance it out because they will tell you because it's also important because that one wanted to come out to unconditional love the divine mother and under it it asks you to thank you divine mother for helping me to give and receive the love i deserve and that's where they scale come in. Because you can give a lot of love. But if you do not allow others that want to give you love and you don't allow it to receive it, how are you going to ever balance out and feel loved? Because when you only give and give, but you don't receive it back, you're, dra- you're draining yourself because you can, you need to replenish energy that you give out. You need to replenish it. You have to allow it in. And if that means you feel a bit scared because some energies don't feel negative, don't feel good, it'll feel a bit nasty, well, just put that, put a filter. Put a mirror in between, only that divine, unconditional love and light energy is allowed in your energy field. And yes, you can say aura field, you can say energy field, but for one, it's an energy field that's only about this much around the person, but another can have that as big as an old town. And if you don't want any negative energy in, you can filter that out just by intention. Set the intention, I wanna receive, but only that that is really beneficial for me. That's the message I got. Lovely. That was beautiful. That tear that, that when you were reading the Divine Mother card, that brought tears in my eyes. Oh, good. <laughs> now, do you want to go next, or would you? I, like I can go next, and and that's really um, I the whole. It, it, as soon as Tara started, my cat came in the room, and I've been holding on to the the heart chakra cards this whole time. So. All right. All right, fellow Taurians. Oh, well, it's, it's all the other chakra cards fell and left this one. I guess this is the chakra message. So this is, um, oh, I think we got this one already. The heart chakra is being brought by the rhodonite crystal and it's love. Love is a verb. So make it your most treasured action. And all right. So let's see if the green, green cards are reflecting on. Okay. Balance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so yes. So that's a beautiful synchronicity. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All 
Okay, that's that's. Oh, sorry, I was oh, waiting for you to say yeah. something about balancing. Well, <laughs> is, nope, nope. We're just nope. going to end that right there because okay. Vera, Vera brought that in very well. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so what I see for Taurus, Taurus, it's like you are in the middle of your project. You are just about to say, do you know what I, I could do with some more? Um, it's like you're already doing um, something that you love um, and it, it's like you're ready. It's like you're pushing that signal out there that you can do, you can do more, that you can achieve more. Um, you know, it's like bring on the pressure. I'm okay with it. You're thinking of breaking free from anything that has been um, stifling you, holding you back, okay? Um, there's always a message that runs parallel through everybody's readings. Um, and this week, I feel it's about um, gaining your strength, basically, and reaching further, further than you felt that you could. Um, but this is about the, the shackles are coming off. You've got the judgment card. <laughs> okay, so you've got the judgment card, and this is all kind of um, chains and things here. And this is saying, I am, I want to be free. I want to be free from the restrictions that I have been in or that people have put around me. So um, that's strong. And if you do that, if you follow that, you get the world card, which is one of the best cards in the deck. So follow those instincts that you know what it is that you, you want to do and go with your heart. And this feels as if it's to do with choices in jobs, choices in the, the work that you do, choices in your um, life path. Is it time that you found your life path? Mm -hmm. Is it time that you started on your life path? Is it time that you projected yourself past mm -hmm. what you feel your limitations are spiritually and got on with it? Because we're near on the end game here, okay, spiritually. It's like a war going on in the background between light and dark. And we need as many light workers to stand up and shake off their doubts and come and join in with the, not the war, but the join in with the battle of, um, of positivity. Uh -huh. Get in the positivity energy. Your, your headspace needs to be as positive as possible. It doesn't mean that bad stuff doesn't happen in the lives because it does. It's how long do we stay down? How long do we say, I'm a victim, look at me, I've hurt myself, others have hurt me. Um, yep, you, me, and everybody, we've all been there. We've all been there. Um, and sometimes things are bigger than us. Sometimes we have to honor that, you know, there's things that we can get over quickly. And there's things that are too much of a heavy burden and give yourself time. So, um, you know, but if you can um, and you feel ready, I think this is the launching free from the restraints. OK, as much as you can in everyday terms. OK, I don't mean that in extreme circumstances. OK, so the celebration over a job, I see. So this is either promotion, extra responsibility within a job. Um, this can be. Um, you know, perhaps a hobby that turns into money making. Okay, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings to do with money. You've also got next to it the Victory card, celebration, achievement, along with the Wheel of Fortune, which is saying everything is moving in your direction. What are you waiting for? Um, they've lined it up for you. So the other thing is, you know, we still got these boundaries. So it's like, there are going to be people around you who may be not the right people to be around you and maybe it's time to move forward or maybe it's time just to kind of tolerate and isolate your emotions. Put yourself in a bubble of pure love energy and then anything negative that they are giving out in their energy, in their aura, um, it just bounces off you. OK, so stay in that bubble. OK, visualize yourself in a bubble of energy. OK, and um, emotionally, I think uh, things are going to be lifting for you. Um, yeah, there you go, Taurus. Yay, thank you.
Right. I, I, was, I know that was, I was for you know everyone else, but I took that all very personally too. So thank you. That's what you're meant to do with these readings. <laughs> well, I was I was thinking, why should bringing out love be a battle? No, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. But why so we just start to change that idea? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We love, take it or leave it. Yep. Yep. All right. Their choice, Just isn't it? Up the game. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everything done by love, in love, and with love. Yeah. <laughs> Can we go? Can we go? Can we go? Can we go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sensing Phil needs to go first. For <laughs> <laughs> once. Let the guy go first, why not? Yeah. <laughs> so, for the first of the week, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. And uh, dear Virgo, we honor you for the hard work that you put forward to make it happen every day. And uh, I, I know about this because, man, I'm driven every day to do something. <laughs> so, that's what it's we're going to do some work at the beginning of the week virgos fellow virgos and um then in the middle of the week we're being asked to go within um we've got the hermit card a major arcana uh and uh, we're being asked to yeah go within and find that inner wisdom uh that inner knowing and um come out and illuminate the world with with that knowing don't don't hold it in if you're uh, going into deep meditation and you're coming out with profound thoughts, share them. Enlighten others as you have been enlightened. These are gifts that you're given and, and you need to share them. Okay, so the end of the week, if we do that, we will have justice. We will be we will be served uh, well by justice. Um, though this card doesn't really depict that. It's the guy's, this kind of looks like Socrates, you know, he had to drink the poison hemlock. But uh, what I hear here is that uh, we're gonna see some justice coming by the end of the week. Uh, maybe in the form of personal justice, uh, maybe in the form of national justice. I'm getting kind of a 50-50 on that one. Uh, so the overarching card, though, that I pulled from the Metatron Self Mastery Oracle was the color of the card pink. Um, it's a number 26, so that comes up also with the number 8. Uh, and it says pink, self-love and nurturing. So it's uh, telling us that we need to be uh, in a self-loving uh, state, uh, that we need to find something we love about ourselves and honor that. Uh, could be that uh, oh, love the way that you get up and... Um, you know, express gratitude every day or, um, you know, something that, you know, by that aid of pinnacles in the, in the beginning, there it is something, there's something there that you can love about yourself because you're a hard worker, right? So that's what I would say to you, Virgo, uh, overarchingly all, but through all of this, um, remember to love yourself. And I say that for all the signs, really, when I think about it, uh, all of us need to love ourselves. And with that, I am done for Virgo. And I will take this advice under <laughs> advisement. Thank you, Phil. That's wonderful. Okay, who wants to do Virgo? Who's next? Um, all right, well, I will do, um, I'm coming up with the uh, indigo color. Oh, oh, there's only two in this too. All right, so 
The card that's coming up is trust. And oh, picking the card right off on the top. So this is this is the third eye chakra, and it's coming in uh, with lepidolite energy, and it says signs. There will always be signs to guide you on your true path. Okay, and that's what I have for Virgo. Lovely, thank you, Concha. You want to go next? You need to unmute. <laughs> kind of goes along with what Phil was saying. The Five of Pentacles comes up for the beginning of the week. Um, meaning there's a lot of chaos, a lot of uh, decisions, a lot of... Um, they're not necessarily bad. You just have to get out of... Uh, almost feeling like a stagnant feeling, um, but there's something that that is brewing. Whatever it is, in the middle of the week, there will be justice. So whatever comes up with uh, whatever the, let's see, I'm, I'm thinking, huh, it's funny because in my situation, it's my home. <laughs> and there's things that, that need to be um, discussed. Um, looks like at the end of the week it's the night of wands um i think there's determination in here uh i'm feeling just have to do it just go just get it done um, make decisions from from that it, it'll be a good weekend to to go through the different ideas that come up at you know after this week so it's looking like things are getting out of stagnation and that's what i get for virgo yeah it's kind of funny week. as you're saying concha then then a, another uh third eye chakra card wanted to come out and this one's destiny, follow your instincts, they lead you to the truth. And that is bringing in through the energy of fluorite. Wow. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, thank you. And guys. you know what's funny this morning, I looked at a card. Um, I got some cards that have the um, different gems on it. And fluorite was the one that really stuck uh -huh. out for me this one, you know, when I got up this afternoon. When I finally got up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. All right. That's what I got. Yeah. Okay. Vera, do you want to go next? We can't hear you. I forgot to turn on. <laughs> Four, 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 four Fergus. I got a beautiful card that, well, sometimes you see that when someone wanted to do something and hoped that they would win that part and it happens. So what do you do? You just start jumping. And it says, live your joy. <laughs> and under it, it advises you to say, thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. Now, it could be that some Virgos don't feel that joy. But I hear also right away, Think back, because it could be some childhood dreams or you joyed a doing as a child that you need to reintroduce in your life. So sometimes the best way to kick off some healing is, and just to say an example, I always wanted to play a certain type of instrument, not this one. 
I was not allowed. I got to know you already have an expensive hobby. And I never got a choice. Well, you can look into it when you like it. So say you can try something out for a couple of weeks or maybe even months to see if it is connects with your heart. Because when something connects with your heart, you can breathe, you can open up, you feel the joy. So maybe it can be is, yeah, and people say, don't look, don't look at the past. The past is the past. But what if you look to the past to find that little needle, that needle that was crushed, even though it's a needle, it's hard to get crushed, get, got crushed. You pick that needle, bring it back into your life right now. So you can start healing from the moment that that needle got crushed. It's a symbol is symbolically about how you have been feeling probably completely crushed, ignored in your life. You were never allowed to follow your heart. So that needle has also stopped you from listening to your heart. So if you want to reconnect to your heart, Go find that thing that what you always what you wanted to do and you were not able, you were not allowed to do. Bring it back. And <clears throat> it could be, okay, I can try it out over there for one week or try it out for three times and see how it feels. Maybe it's not meant to be, you continue with it. But it's not about maybe just keep playing that instrument or painting or whatever it is that is that was deprived from your life. But that those per, a couple of times you try it out can help you with leaps in your healing. And You'll take a break and then you pick the next one because every single thing, and yes, I mean legally, of course, but all the things you wanted to do, you could not do, walk through them because every single piece like that needle, anything can help you heal so you can heal your heart and you'll find that joy of life. That's what I got for Virgo. Thank you, lovely Vera, thank you. And thank you everybody for sticking out here and, and doing the astrology readings for everybody. It's, um, it's very nice of you guys. This is um, giving of your time, so. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the invitation and thank you for the opportunity. Yes, I second that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I want to say something about uh, um, Vera's reading. Um, mm. I remember when I was going to uh, sixth grade, it was, and um, I wanted to play the saxophone. But uh, in order to play the saxophone, I'd have to pay for a saxophone. So my parents didn't have that kind of money so i had to learn to play the bassoon that is about the most well <laughs> it's it's like a small uh tuba right so that's mm -hmm. where you're at you're in that brassy sound and i wanted that you know shiny saxophone saxophone <laughs> um, maybe you can do it now phil what well, yeah, I, I, could, I could afford a, a saxophone now, but I don't know whether I want, want to go through the lessons. <laughs> yeah. You, you don't have to. You well, don't have to, Phil, because there are also books mm -hmm. and 
the only thing I think you have to learn is how the finger settings are of the instrument. Right. And how to, and I can help you with that because I have, I've played a saxophone, how to let, use your breath and let it with a long flow of air, all of a sudden you feel that the sound of that reed kicks in. And when you have that, you get control and then your intuition will kick in. Yeah, well, I'll look into it. I mean, it is something I've thought about off and on, but um, you just kind of prompted that memory in me. So I just wanted to acknowledge it. Thank you. Well, thank you. So Taurus, um, oh, sorry, Virgo. Virgo, <laughs> um, Virgos, the beginning of the week is, um, there's kind of a new money, new energy coming in um, for, for you. Um, I feel that there is reminiscence in the past. I've got my Six of Cups, which is all about thinking of the past, thinking about how things used to be, you know, um, so very similar to what Vera said um, there. Um, there is an obstacle, um, but is the obstacle still there? Is the obstacle your mindset? Is the obstacle your, um, you know, that there's too many other things that you have to do? Um, find out what that obstacle is. Perhaps the obstacle is that you don't care enough. Does that make sense? But it's nice to reminisce, mm. so. Okay, so the middle of the week, middle of the week, you've already done enough, um, enough work, enough study, enough um, powerful energy putting into, into different projects and different things that you have. You've already put enough in there for you to actually sit back and reap what you what you've sown. Now, if it's not coming in the way that you want it to, then maybe you need to implement things differently. Find out what you need to do in order to build up that um, passive income. You know that kind of income that's coming in that is like you don't have to do much for, but you're still um, helping others whilst you're helping yourself. Because I'll show you the card. It's like he's, he's literally, it's like he's sown the seeds and now he's walking off and saying, okay, they're just, they're gonna bring me my money. They're gonna bring me, you know, my quality of life. Okay, because you've already done the work. So look out for that because we, we have the sun card as well, okay, which is a really good card. For some of you, I'm seeing moving, and I feel as if there's disruption in the house. So whether or not that is you moving, someone moving in, moving out, um, it can mean chaos to do with you having, you know, jobs done in the house, DIY, things not going right. Um, there's that type of um, thing. There's also that you want to run away from someone or something that is happening that is, makes you feel uncomfortable. Um, and this is definitely an emotional situation. I feel that it's linked to family or friendship. It's, it's definitely kind of that feeling of, I can't handle this situation, I'm off, I, I'm, I'm done. Okay, so I feel that sometimes we have to honor that feeling and if you have to withdraw away so that you can uh, build up your strength and build up your energy, then allow yourself to do that, it's okay, all right? Um, the end of the week, end of the week, be careful what you're thinking because it's like there's going to be lots of angel numbers around you. There's going to be lots of um, feelings of affirmations going out there. So make sure that anything that you're wishing for, you need to be saying thank you for. Um, and um, it is, I have, I am. Okay, it's in the present time. It's no good saying I wish for, please bring me. Okay. Um, it's quicker to say, thank you for bringing me. It's quicker to say that, um, you know, feel that energy. So if you want a new partner, thank you for bringing me my new partner. They are, we love each other. Make sure you say we, we love each other unconditionally. Each of us are good for each other. 
and we are we are self-sufficient we are happy okay so if it's a new car thank you universe for my new car um i'm going to be doing um spells and that i have been working really hard getting my spell kits ready and getting little pouches ready for with little spells in already done i've been working hard in the background for that um which i will be doing soon and i'll just let everybody know it's going to be like a free video that's going to go out there um I'm hoping next week, but it's uh, proving to be quite a busy week already. So <laughs> I will see how I go. Um, yeah, so changes in the house, but good changes. And I feel by the end of the week, um, you're ready to get out of your house and go and um, explore what, what life has to offer. Even if it's going for a walk, even if it's driving somewhere and just sitting with the car window open and sitting and listening to the birds sing. It's like, enjoy what you have around you. It doesn't have to cost anything in order to do that. Okay, so that's our Virgos. Oh my gosh, my, I'm going to make my boyfriend watch watch the Virgo reading. And oh, by the way, he's, he's an asphalt and paving foreman. And before the season starts, which will just be in a couple of weeks, he's having a couple of guys come out and we're having our driveway we have a gravel driveway. We're having it all <laughs> dug out and have a new asphalt um, driveway put in. And Allie, even in my my like monthly readings or what you said, like March, you know, March is going to be like moving, but you didn't, you know, like know exactly what. It's just like things moving about. Yeah, that's going to be a big disruption for for several days. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There we are. So it's in line with that. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's do a shout out to people who are still watching here. Hi, Linda. Hello, Louise. Carla's watching, probably from her bed, bless her. <laughs> Paige, Louise again. Doreen, hello, Doreen. She says, hi, ladies. My wonderful husband's there. Sexy man. <laughs> and... Um, who else have we got? Paige and Phil. Phil, I resonated with what you shared too. Thank you. Yeah. So there you go. Good. That's brilliant. So we're going to do Capricorn now. Should we let Phil go first again? Well, I am ready, but <laughs> he's ready. He's jumping. Oh, he's ready. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. We like to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, unfortunately, Capricorn, we're starting out with the five of wands. So it looks like there's going to be some conflict. Hopefully, though, you're this guy right here because he's got the armbands. It looks like he's a little beefier than these other kids. And um, you're going to win. <laughs> so, but difficult times to start the week with. Then, uh, middle of the week, uh, we get the Ace of Pentacles. And so this is telling me uh, that you're going to have a, uh, an opportunity. It's, uh, um, it might be a side job that you're going to get. It might be a new job that you're going to be offered. Um, but a new source of money is coming into your life uh, for the middle of the week Capricorn, which I'm sure that will make you happy. And uh, for the end... Well, my friend, you're going to be moving through troubled waters again, or we're getting the troubled waters again, I should say. You're not moving through troubled waters again. This is <laughs> where you're going there. But um, you're going to get through it, right? Because that six says we're going to get, and we're moving. We're not, we're not stuck there. So don't let the the troubled waters uh, stay you from your course or stop you from uh, making it to that other side. And then uh, we pulled the Angel's Oracle a card for you. And this one is uh, Take Charge and Action. And I, uh, I'm not sure because uh, Blue, you would think that's Archangel Michael, uh, but he's using, he's got a bow and arrow instead of a sword. So 
Not sure that that's who that angel is, but they sure are telling you to take action. Um, I'm hearing that you might want to team up uh, or partner up with a uh, Sagittarius. Uh, don't know why I, I mean, <laughs> where that came from, but that did come through. So we're going to say that. And um, yeah, take action. You you've got, you know, you got some stuff you got to work through. And um, like I said, just um, but take action, and I think you get you'll get through it just fine. Thank and you, Gil. Thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll go next because it's all bubble. It's all bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. So I know there's going to be a light language coming for. Okay, so and these cards are like jumping out at me. So this. <laughs> okay, so the first things that came through was and this is pink. So was the disruption energy, and then the chakra love card that goes with that, um, and this is a balance of cycles. It says out of chaos comes creation brought with the energy of Amazonite, Carnelian, Peach Moonstone, and Red Jasper. Then following that comes the Sweetness card and the Chakra Love card that comes with that. Um, and this, uh, this balance is uh, bringing in a balance to harmony. It says harmony makes the song of life sweeter. And that's brought with green jasper, turquoise, and labradorite. And then this, this following message. Okay, and my my face feels like I'm all full of champagne bubbles right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the people who are watching who don't understand about light language, that was communication from higher energies, okay, that comes through. Close your eyes and feel the vibration. You don't have to understand, obviously, what was being said, but it's the vibration of that energy that comes through. It's healing. If you believe in sound healing, then this is the same, same kind of concept. Okay. Thank so, you. Thank you for that, did Allie. You, did you know what they were saying, Phil? Um, that one I didn't quite catch. Uh, wasn't in the right, right. Yeah, right. we we were so, caught unaware. Kinda, so I gotta be kind of, <laughs> gotta be up connected in the higher realms in order to uh, yeah. get off of that. Um, Probably because I wasn't concentrating on it. Sorry. That's okay. But when it's real bubbly like that, I always feel like that's kind of like a uh, like a fairy type of energy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of that way, and that's that's another reason why I might not understand it in that way, because I um, haven't heard too much light language from the fairies around here because they're mostly dark. <laughs> no, no, not these ones. Oh man. They, yeah. they get my like vibration so high. I just start turning in as like, -la 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 -la, like person. Yeah. Like, you know, I like start talking really fast and everything is, you know, I feel like like the Lego song, everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is awesome. <laughs> it is. It is. Good. Concha, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Let's see. Four are Capricorns. It's, it's actually a pretty... Um, I got the Ten of Pentacles at the beginning of the week. Okay. Whatever it is, they are high in their energy as far as a decision that needs to be made, whether that be uh, about themselves. Um, I'm hearing it could be a job or in their job or a job that is that could be coming up. They have made some, um, they're pretty stoked about it. It's, it to me that's what that ten of pentacles that's a that's a lot of uh, good energy 
to me. And um, for the middle of the week, it's the two of wands. And it looks like they're contemplating more. They're looking more in, in depth of uh, what is to be coming up for them. Um, I'm drawn to that blue, blue um, little cup or whatever it is in the middle. It's like uh, a knowing. They just need to dig deeper and make uh, make plans off of it. Whatever it is, it's going to be good because at the end of the week, <laughs> it's funny because that energy came up again of, of being a child and remembering, um, a, you know, kind of a nostalgic kind of feeling. He may be thinking of, or they may be thinking of, um, maybe even improving on something they used to think about when they were younger and they were really looking into making it a, a, making it real instead of just a dream or a memory but they have to be very careful um they've got six cups there that they can fill up with the good high energy of whatever it is they want to change or make in make into reality for them could even be like building a home i'm thinking or um i don't know why i'm getting home so much um i'm sorry let's see building a good job a new job uh something that will allow them the freedom to be creative so there's a lot of high energy in this uh for for capricorn this week I feel, and that's what I got. Beautiful, thank you, Concha. Okay, Vera. Well, again, a double message from the angel prayers. And that also fits in with Sherry. And I've had that also, because I got a strong feeling that it could be that life goes just the way it is, quite normal, no changes, but you're feeling like, oh my God, what is happening? A lot of emotion raging through your body or also, or all of a sudden, a backflash to something you didn't like or uh, that did scar you well one of the cards that wanted again out transformation and i strongly feel that a lot of capricorns are gonna feel a huge shift in their energy Transformation, it is on, I, 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 I see literally on a very deep level. And when that happens, you can feel completely off track. You're do, still doing the things you normally do in the, in, in the whole week. It is leading you to this the miracle of nature. Look at the fairy. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, angels, for helping me to reconnect, reconnect through nature and fresh air. And when I read that, I feel that it's like I, I literally breathing in really stagnant air and that can be because for some reason you're stuck in the house it's cold outside all the windows are closed and you're feeling like i cannot breathe and that can be my energies but that's <clears throat> that's in a way my sign that you are at a, at a place as you feel 
everything is heavy. Uh, keep in mind in a miracle of nature. Thank you, angels, for helping me to reconnect through nature and fresh air. So you can that just visualize or just step out your door, back door, front door, or get on a porch or go to nature and just sit and relax and just, well, yeah, just sit, sit on the grass. Because then you feel a lot of fresh air because when it's cold, you have the most fresh air there is. And when you breathe that in, you can do that by thinking about breathing in love and exhale all the things that feel heavy. But while you breathe in and you feel your body, there's for anything that feels heavy or negative, there's only one way, it goes out. And don't be surprised if that leads to what we call purge. And that literally after that, you have to run to the toilet and do number two. Or, and some people can even feel so sick that they throw up. Don't that's be surprised. Not, that's not selling it, Vera. <laughs> that's not selling. I know. But if you don't know what it is, yeah. and you think you're sick, but you're not sick, you're just... It can also be through sweat. That you all of a sudden break out in sweat. Just think of it as your body is, body is cleansing itself. Anything that does not serve you goes out. And yeah, I know that one thing doesn't uh, feel appealing, but just know that even if you feel very bad at that moment, as soon as it's out, you'll calm down. So don't worry about it. That's the message what I wanna give you with that. Because cleansing can make you feel sick, but the minute it's out, it's gone. And you feel so much more light and positive. Stephanie in the Zoom chat calls it the spirit flu goo. <laughs> I think that's a really good name. <laughs> and yes, you can even catch a spiritual flu. Detoxing. And that's all about. Detoxing. Yep. It's it's the old. And Stephanie also said, she said, I used to be a fae a hundred lifetimes ago. I, I got in the message that I, that I brought through. She said, I got, it was to have fun and relax. So there's somebody else that gets information from my light language that makes me so happy. <laughs> good. That's good. And it's very brave of you for doing it. It is. Well, yeah. you give me that you've, you have given me this opportunity and I'm like forever grateful. Oh, thank you. Well, it's, I, I believe that it's, it's getting people out there, you know, ready to move on. So um, I give, all you guys permission to sell yourself, put your details out there onto um, the chat. I've said it every time that Vera comes on. If you are ready and you want that, then put it out there, okay? Um, you know, if you wanna get in touch with Sherry about light language or you wanna get in touch with Phil, um, I'm sure Phil, you can put your details in the chat because uh, Phil does um, a lot of work on YouTube when they let him. <laughs> when he's not being a naughty boy and sitting on the, in the naughty boy corner. <laughs> You're muted. But by I the am way. a naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You're over the top. I'm a dog of my bastard. That's why they, they don't <laughs> like me to be on there. <laughs> and Greg also said the four agreements have a mantra. The air is nothing but love. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And he also says Ellie's writing a love letter to me. <laughs> you caught me. I've written him loads of love letters. A little pot of them. Well, <laughs> and Stephanie, Stephanie also says Ellie, Ellie is the best teacher ever. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. And now don't start to blossom, Ellie. I did push you this week. <laughs> this Saturday, I pushed you. Yes. Yep. But you want you build such a a circle of trust, and and everyone works together in such a cohesive way. It's, it's, you've made it easy for me. I always, you know, it was always such a huge obstacle for me and you, you've helped break down those obstacles because of, of this energy that you bring in to, to these circles and your classes and your, and your, uh, readings. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And it's through Greg that I've met all of you lot. So yep. I could thank Greg as well. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> he introduced yeah. Yep. So I've met my spiritual family. So, yes. Yeah. Oh, so look, it's so look. good to be here. St yeah. Steph wrote, yeah. she cannot turn a camera back on. Now the crazy thing. When she came off because her she froze. Yeah. That picture is still on the live. It is. It's on the live, but it's not here. Perhaps no. come out and sign back in again. Yeah. Mary, because it was working before. Stephanie. Yeah, maybe jump by out because now you can choose to go out. Yeah. One big family, Greg says. Okay, so what I see for Capricorn, um, Capricorns, you're going to start off with very mischievous energy. Now, this could be you um, deciding to just be naughty and just to say it's been far too serious. Um, I don't want to be serious anymore. I've had enough. Um, so you might be walking away from responsibilities for a little while, you know, trying to get away, maybe having one of those great nights out that you had years ago, getting your friends together, calling them all up saying, come on, guys, we haven't had a night out for ages. Let's just go. You know, um, just sometimes we have to be the instigator everybody's busy so sometimes that's what we need to do because I do feel it's like just having some fun you know um mm -hmm. you know siesta key there's no excuse if you're at siesta key you've got the drum circle there every Sunday you turn up there on your own um it doesn't matter so so yeah but it just sometimes you know have your own energy if you've got um woods around you or if you've got the beach you know pop in um yeah just feels as if there's a need to just have have some fun let your inner child out like like beer is doing right now I know. <laughs> not a bad hair day these people <laughs> want to stay with it when i put them <laughs> um i'm seeing somebody who's a deep thinker as well i feel that there is a lot of deep thinking a lot of decisions that need to be made and Another reason why you need to let your hair down, because sometimes if you can, if you've got big decisions, sometimes to get away from those decisions and go for a walk, clear your mind, try not to think about it, keep your mind busy, all right? And then you, it will just come to you. It will just come to you. Um, I feel that there's links around your home and some... Um, it's needing needing alone time, but also knowing that you need to be around other people. So it's like busy, busy, quiet, busy, busy, quiet. It's like spiritual people need that rebalance energy. OK, because otherwise we get drained because you're you're on a high vibration. And sometimes you're around low vibrational people as in 3D world. And that could be people that you work with. Maybe family haven't lifted their vibrations up. Um, they're still kind of watching mainstream media, whatever they're doing, and they're on that low vibration, which means they're feeding off your positivity. 
feeding, 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 and sometimes um, that can be draining, which is why you need to be back alone at home or in your own surroundings so that you can rebalance and re-energize and then you can go back out again and do the whole thing again. Um, there's a lot of um, hard work I feel that is around you. This hard work though is your choice, stuff that you wanna do um, and not something that you have to do. I'm seeing self-employment being spoken about more than ever, okay, in everybody's reading. Everybody's reading, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that everybody's saying, I don't wanna work for that company. I want to do what I wanna do. Mm. So it's like, how can I monetize what I love to do? You have the internet now. You have the opportunity that nobody had before you have YouTube, every single little thing that, you know, might be obscure and nobody else might like it, weaving baskets, crocheting, anything that you are good at, if you do enough videos out there, you're going to get money, okay, you can monetize it, so, you know, there's no excuses, build that business up in the background, you don't even have to show your face, you just show your hands, and what you're doing with your hands so um yeah it just feels as if there's going to be a lot of um gratitude a lot of people say well done congratulations around you at the end of the week linking to a self-employed project so there you go capricorns that's what we all see for you guys okay so we've got one left now now I haven't die. Done. are you did still there capricorn? did i do capricorn I don't have you think done I capricorn did. No, not yet. I have because I oh. just drew the cards. And anyway, yes. we were talking about uh, fairies a little while ago, so yes. I decided to get the fairy world oh. out here. Okay. <laughs> and it's really kind of um, okay. The first card that we got for the beginning of the week is a sorceress, and um, it's it has to do with rituals, power, will. But I think the Capricorn is uh, has got a project, some kind of project going, or something that they've thought of or have been thinking about for a long time and have all kinds of ideas and they want to play with that and they're um they're putting together <laughs> rituals plans you know things that that they think how how they can make this work and of course as the the project is presented um there's always somebody <laughs> In the middle of the week, we get the unseely queen, and she's very perfect, glamorous, opulent. Um, she wants, you know, she wants perfection. And she might, uh, she or this person may have um, oh, contradicting you or so don't let that get you down because your ideas are are perfect um not everybody's going to see them the way you see them but you know how to implement them when that come, when that happens but you will have some kind of criticism but don't take it to heart because um some of it could make you grow some of it you can just leave behind whatever resonates with you from this person that is um perhaps giving um, an opinion I guess so just take what resonates with you stick with your with your with your main ideas because mm. at the end of the week um you are the life bringer whatever this project is it's going to be um it's it's it'll be fulfilling for you and others it's a growth period um it's establishing new grounds with everything that's going on in this world it's like Maybe this is the beginning of your, uh, what you've been manifesting in this project is coming to, to fruition now at the end of the week. At least it's a good beginning. And you've taken all the pros and cons about it. And uh, you'll be making something that's going to be very fulfilling for many. And that's what I got for Capricorn. <laughs> oh, thank you, Concha. Mm -hmm. Okay, and welcome back, Stephanie. <laughs> She's back. 
Hey, okay. Concha, what was the deck, the fairy deck you used? Muted. <laughs> yes, sorry. It's uh, Fairy Forest by, I don't know if that's backwards to you, but it's Lucy Cavendish. Okay. An Oracle of the Wild Green World. Yeah, I thought, okay, I thank thought you. this was very interesting. You're welcome. That's lovely. Um, Di, I've left you a message in the chat there. Um, as you said, um, we always leave, we try not to leave every summer. We try and mix it up a bit, but um, so the air signs were left till last. Um, let us know what, what sign you are, okay? And then we'll do that first, but only if it's in the next kind of um, few seconds, because otherwise we'll have to pick one. <laughs> so I, I know it. <laughs> What's her birth sign? Do you know? No, I, 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 I've seen it. Seen what? I've seen, but I can't remember what birth sign. I can't remember. You can't remember the air signs, or you can't remember her sign. Her, her oh. sign. No, I can't. So anyway, we'll we'll pick one. Okay, what? <laughs> yeah, three, Gemini. two, five, one. Gemini. That's I'm feeling full. Gemini. 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 Yeah. Gemini. She's Gemini. Yeah. Di, we think we think you're a Gemini. Okay. Well, right. that would be the first let, sign of let it. Let us too. know if it's correct. Uh, Greg says, "Do Libra last." <laughs> okay. So Gemini. <clears throat> Gemini. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be last; it'd be second. But okay. Who's <laughs> I take a minute. I'll be right back. All oh, right. well, then, then I'll tell you if, she, if she needs a second to respond. So I'm glad that you were bringing in the, the dragon energy, Phil, because oh, he, he decided he wanted to be with me this whole time. So oh. if you're bringing up the dragon cards, I'm like, oh, OK. Oh, and there's Vera's. <laughs> <laughs> what crystal is that? Oh, mine's zebra jasper. Zebra jasper, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. that's cool. Or zebra in in UK terms. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what is your answer, yours, Vera? Is it opalite? Yes, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I all of a sudden went blank. As Devon says, you had a brain fart. <laughs> I think we all have them, don't we? Okay, who who out of you guys wants to go first? Uh, I guess I do. Phil does. Okay. And uh, dearest. Oh, I forgot what Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. For the week of the 14th through the 20th. You're starting off with the Queen of Wands. And what has she got? She's spilling out the cornucopia of all pleasant things. So you're starting off the week really well, um, Gemini. And um, oh, and El Donald Trumpo is also a Gemini. Just as I'm, so are uh, both of my sons. <laughs> uh, for the middle of the week, we have the Herophant. Uh, this is kind of a young looking hair font, I'm going to say. Almost childlike, I'm going to say. Um, so, yeah, there is a spiritual message. Be true to your higher self, is what I'm hearing, is the the spiritual message that's coming through this so it's saying you need to be true to your higher self despite what the hierophant might tell you so if it does not resonate with you do not listen to this hierophant that's what it's saying here so for the end of the week here we've got the moon oh fickle moon oh moon of, well it's um lunacy right so you might be a little loony towards the end of the week or you might be more intuitive 
Actually, I'm hearing you're going to be a little bit more intuitive towards the end of the week. And then uh, for the, we pull another dragon oracle card. And then we got the fire and water uh, dragon here. So we're going to create some steam, baby. Um, and what does it say here of the dragon, of the fire and water dragon? Enables you, your life to flow with loving force. And um, yeah, the, love is one of those higher vibrations uh, that you definitely want to maintain. It says, prepare for change and to move forward quickly. Expect the unexpected. Have fun. Always have fun. Gemini. Uh, and um, take that leap of faith uh, that you need that you can enjoy life and be a productive person still and that's the message for Gemini thank you Concha do you want to go next um, I got uh, for the beginning of the week the base chakra um, what I'm getting is there's something that needs to be cleared on that. And once you do that, there's going to be strength that comes along with that. Um, it's, uh, whatever challenge is coming up in your, in your, um, uh, in your life right now. Uh, you're going to need to have stability. Um, once you do that, towards the middle of the week, you're going to feel that you need to be standing your ground. Um, don't let anybody sway you or any particular, don't give up on yourself, whatever it is. Um, you can do this. You're going to get through this week with a little bit more understanding. Um, Towards the end of the week, it's uh, saying practice and planning. So whatever this is that you are building up your strength for, mm, I'm getting, they're saying you have, you have strategic moves to do. You're, you'll have the strength, you'll have the ability, uh, trust yourself. Don't get swayed. Go forward. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Be gentle with anybody who uh, objects or says contrary to what whatever it is that you are. You stand your ground and you're going to be okay. You're going to push through this, uh, whatever this could be. I mean, it could you know it's like mm, I'm getting huh I'm not they're not I'm they're not really saying it's just saying that whatever this challenge is that you are facing just stand your ground be gentle about it but be strong about it so that's what I get for Gemini this week. Mm. Patience and planning. I love that that deck, the uh, psychic, um, what they call psychic tarot, aren't they? Mm -hmm. like, um, somebody Holland, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, where's my? Where's the box? Yeah. I gave those. That's yeah. 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 Yeah, I've got to get myself another of those decks because I do like them. I'm going I to like treat, them a lot. I'm going to treat myself to another of those decks, I feel. Who is it by, Con Concha? Uh, that's what I was looking for. Uh, here it is. Psychic. It's the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. John Holland, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to treat myself. 
<laughs> okay. I love it. Yeah. Who else? I like the one. Going? I like the one that you sent me too. The Cosmic, the Cosmic Tarot. Yeah. yeah. Those two are oh. are pretty cool. Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's next? All right. All right. I'll go next. So I was already feeling a lot of throat chakra and third eye. So the the blues and the indigos. And this card, again, goes perfectly with what um, Concha was uh, bringing up in her cards. This um, is being brought by the energy of the lapis lazuli. And the card is expression. Express your true self. The world needs you. And I do feel like you, you need to stand, stand in your truth, you know, how that feels, what you do, you know, be... Um, you know, vocal about it. Don't, don't keep it held in. Um, and the card, the blue card that comes in, it comes in with cleanse. So the, the more, it, if, especially if you've been feeling, um, you know, like you're, you're not speaking out when you need to, um, this is letting you know that in doing so and in, in trusting your voice and trusting your truth, um, it's, it's going to start as you do that and you're letting that go, that go you're, you're clearing out any of the blockages, you're clearing out any of the, um, you know, criticizing or, or um, anytime that you were told, you know, that what you're saying is not important or it's ir irrelevant. Um, you know, you, you need to now stand strong in with your voice and with your expression. And the more that you do that and the easier it'll get, you'll be clearing out those energies that's holding you back. All right. And that's, that's, that's what I have for Gemini. Isn't that great? That, you know, there's always the theme that runs through and it's always in this, in this week, it's about breaking free from negative energies but um and believing in yourself leaping forward so yeah oh i forgot the the third uh, the um the third eye chakra card so mm -hmm. this one is brought by labradite and it says dreams it says dreams are where your mind translates translates the divine okay all right so now i'm done sorry <laughs> mm -hmm. all right that's okay. So is it Vera next? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So <clears throat> the message from the ancient prayers that I got for Gemini's that is say that says connect with music. Thank you, angels, for inspiring me through music. And what I love about this card, well, she's playing an instrument and she has spread her wings. Like, that tells me. And for some, is it making music? For others, is it just listening? Because music is a universal language. And when you say you feel a little bit off or disconnected, uh, listening to music can help you go back and in center with yourself. Just let that music get through your system can and any music that feels good for you will help you cleanse center and it feels like you've been holding like this but when that music even though you don't actually do it it's like you're spreading your wings and <laughs> maybe funny word I hear, lift off. <laughs> so 
if you feel heavy or stuck or whatever, just hum wherever you are. If you're driving your car, just doesn't matter what you do or just put that radio on. And sometimes some people find it also very soothing when they drive a car, they have the radio off and just listen to what the engine tells you. And I can tell a story about that. When I lived in another area, I had to escape from a lot of negative energy. My car, I, I had my car radio on. I couldn't get, keep it on. It kept on and I smelled like that radio was going on fire. So I turned the radio off and all the time, all the way and the further I got, the more it quieted down. And it was a music that came through that, well, it, meditation music that would push away negative energies. And that I heard all the way until I was close to the area I live in now. But yeah, I was preparing the house, so I had to go back. And every time the closer I got, the stronger that meditation music. And I, it, it was like, uh, Om Namah Shivaya. And it kept on going the whole way. And the closer I got to that house, it got stronger. So sometimes it can also be a music that you just hear in your mind. Shamanic, isn't it? That sounds shamanic. Oh, that's, that was really, yeah, it was shamanic. And it was with drums. So that was literally. And so... Music can also protect you from things. And to me, it was my way of traveling unseen. And thankfully, I'm almost three years now here. They still have not found me. Good. So that can something, music can do that to you too. So if you feel there's a lot of negative energy in your house, go find that music, shamanic music, because I have found shamanic music can help you push that out of your system, out of your house. It can help you be safe. And if you have guinea pigs like me and you hear a chirping sound, they're warning you. They told me there was incoming energies so I could send it back before it got to the house. I used to love my guinea pigs talking to me. They used to chat away. Yeah. They're, they're cute. I miss, I miss my guinea pigs, but I couldn't carry on keeping them. Sometimes I felt as if they needed grass. They needed to get out there, you know, on a run and stuff I yeah so they went to a little boy and his mum um oh so it was lovely and she kept sending me pictures of them so that made me feel better yeah okay um is that it has everybody done Gemini now oh Stephanie she's she put in the zoom chat she said singing raises your vibration and it yep. and it does it, it certainly does, does. yeah you're really working does. on chakra Woo. you know <laughs> yeah definitely i was even surprised that i got it got out the way i wanted it to go out mm -hmm. when you trust when you trust in that it's amazing what can come out it really is it is okay so what i see for gemini's is um follow your dreams and try not to let other people judge you or at least if they are judging you that's their problem not yours what you want to do with your life is your business. It's not other people's business. And as long as you're not harming anybody deliberately, you're following your dreams, 
then you're on the highest vibrational energy. And that's it. Um, and I feel that you're going to be sending lots of signals out to the universe. Um, I was teaching tarot yesterday doing level two. And this particular one in the light seers cards is I see these ravens as little messengers from the earth and they're all going out. Um, they're going out and uh, with each one of these, there's a wish, a dream, you know, something that you want, something that you desire. And so they're all being sent out. So make sure that when you send those out, they're the most positive energies. So don't concentrate on what you don't want because you'll get more of that. Only concentrate and give energy to the things that you do want. Thank the universe before you get them as if you already have them. All of these keys are law of attraction, cosmic ordering, um, but it's definitely going to be very strong around you guys this week. This is following your dreams, just to them in here. And this is your affirmations. Okay, that's the beginning of the week for you guys. And if you do it, all of that hard work that you've already put in is going to blossom, okay, because of your concentration. It's an expectation. If you expect to get nothing, you will get nothing. If you expect to be given the rewards back for all of the hard work and all of the love energy that you've put out there to help other people, then you'll get that back, okay? It will just flow into your life. Um, there's mischievous energy around um, you next week. There seems to be, around the middle of the week, there seems to be somebody who um, I feel that you're going to be thinking, you don't deserve my energy or my time. Okay, um, it's a bit like you don't want to be sucked into somebody else's drama. If there's somebody around you who enjoys drama, who keeps bringing drama to them deliberately because they are concentrating, they're running towards drama. They're getting a kick out of the drama. It's like, I've noticed this. I've got to be careful what I say, but I have noticed this with people around C-O-V-I-D. Okay, people, oh, I've got it. Oh God, I hope you're gonna be okay. Oh my good, have you had your jabby doodies? Have you had them? Oh no, I haven't. Oh dear, well, you're gonna get terrible then. It's gonna be absolutely awful for you. Yeah, but and other people say, yeah, I've had both. And I've had every booster. It's like, you're not gonna get it so bad, are you now? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Anyway. And it's like they're living off this drama. And it's all very, very, you know, if that isn't going to bring that to you, I don't know what is. So it's like, chill, chill out, you know. The um, thing is, what you fear makes you more. Yeah, vulnerable to vulnerable. it. Vulnerable. It is. So if somebody's got flu around you, would you go around there and give him a hug? Would you? No. You'd just say, I'm going to stay in. I've got the flu at the moment. I've got a cold. I don't want to give it to anyone. Energy is just calm, isn't it? It's just, mm. okay. So anyway, um, that's my rant over. I'm not saying it's not a bad one, a case of it. I'm not saying it's not. But it's like, don't blow it out of, you know, Anyway, leave it where it is. Yeah, it's in like, the now. Just keep feeling. This is getting better. This is getting better. I'm on it. It's fine. It's just it's awful while it while it's here. You know, I've had flu before, and it, I felt like I'm dying. I have. I felt I, I really my and my all my bones ache. When someone was going out supermarket shop shopping, they said they got flu. I was going, No, you haven't. You have not got flu. <laughs> Flu, you can't get out of bed. You, you're really, really bad. I think people have forgotten what that's like. So anyway, um, I just feel that you're going to be moving away, Gemini's, from people who have got the drama energy, okay, around. It's like I'm, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Um, we've got the um, saving up money. There seems to be saving up money, saving up um, your energy for things that you do want. And I feel you know, you might be literally saving, okay? So we've got this woman, she's clutching her purse and she's saying, I'm gonna save up for something good. I'm gonna concentrate on something that, that I'm excited about. 
by the end of the week, there seems to be something to do with your home that you are wanting to do um, more of. It's like, um, it could be that you wanna spend more time at home. It could be that you've decided, you know, to maybe spend a bit of money on your home, doing improvements, um, making it look pretty, um, making yourself more comfortable with, you know, where you like to sit and what you like to do. It's like, why do I have to get up every time I want to do this or want to do that? I'm going to bring that closer to me. I'm going to do that so that I feel comfortable. You know, why not? Does it have to be like a show house um, or does it want to be, do you want to live in it? Do you want to love your home? So I feel that there might be some decisions that you're going to make about your home situation. Okay, at the end of the week, Gemini's. Anyway, sorry to get on my soapbox in the middle of it, but sheesh. <laughs> what you got there, Vera? Well, I saw this earlier. And it's, I think that this is really good advice for everyone in the world. And it's the divine physician, Archangel Raphael. It says, thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. When you trust, this will happen. And think about it. You change your energy in such a way. And yes, you cannot heal everything. I understand that. But you have a really strong thing to fight it with. Yeah. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. Yeah. That's because it. sometimes it's just Expected. your own body telling you, you need a break from everything, from fear, from going way over your limits. Your body is just telling you, come on, you, if you don't take a break, I will make you do. you and take they do, a break. they make you poorly, don't they? It's true. It's and true. you will slow down. <laughs> if I would, Tell Ellie, and I would look at her and keep telling her, oh my God, Ellie, your nose is so itchy. Oh my God, it's so itchy. You will, in the end, you will start itching your nose. Mm. And yeah, it's the people around the people that are poorly, you know, the people that have got it or got ill, it's the people, what I'm talking about is the people around that that are being dramatic and, and that fear. person then feels iller or feels in fear because the other people are panicking well the thing is and i it i think i came across a great article when you live in fear constantly your body built it builds up toxins when you are finally calming down, your body is going to detox if you want it or not. It's going to come out by coughing, by sweating, or any other illness you can get because it needs out. Mm. It's energy. Think of that. It's, it's definitely energy, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Well, You're I welcome. have to say something here because uh, we mentioned the word fear, false evidence appearing real. And Pardon? I want to correct you, false evidence appearing real. Oh, oh yes, yes. yes. And, uh, and the quote I wanted is from Dune. Fear is a mind killer. So say the Jezeret witches. So the Paul Adratus has got to stick his hand into a box and all his fears come up about what's happening to his damn hand and nothing's happening to it. It's all in his yeah. effing mind. Yeah. So don't let it, let the fear get into your mind. 
Yes. I mean, it's a, it's a reaction. It's an emotion, right? But that's just something to warn you, but you don't need to obsess about it. That's the devil telling you to do that. It kind of is. It is. So, yeah, stay grounded. If you're feeling ill, you feel ill. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm not cool for people to help you, but don't get into the panic zone and don't let other people panic around you. Kind of just steer away from them because it's not going to help you at all get well anyway <laughs> greg says has anybody actually stood on a soapbox <laughs> <laughs> it's slippery uh, <laughs> it's slippery Ellie. <laughs> i don't think you can step, step on, on a soapbox <laughs> on a wet floor that's not funny is it thankfully anyway. i was very flexible because I went into a split. <laughs> oh, you actually, yeah, okay. <laughs> what but we that something that a so man much. cannot do comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no, definitely not. <laughs> I'm going to be able to do that now. <laughs> okay, who wants to start off with Aquarius? Oh, yeah. Aquarius. Okay, I can, well, unless somebody else wants to start first. Are you okay, go Phil? Go. go for it. All righty. So, the first card of the week is the Seven of Cups. And uh, what we see here is uh, this kid isn't paying any attention. He's just paying attention to his cups. He's inebriated. <laughs> So you're going to have a, you might have a hard time uh, concentrating, I guess, especially if it's a really boring teacher. Um, so if you're not being, um, if you are in a class, I'm going to say, um, and you're feeling this way, like this kid does, um, get out of the class and find somebody else that can pique your interest or find something that can pique your interest so but i mean you know it's so it's a kind of a mix-up of emotions really is what i'm going to say you're in a do i like this or do i not like this and then we also again we've got the in the middle of the week the ace of pentacles uh, for you aquarius so a new endeavor is coming up um a new way to make money uh For some of you, this is a, a new job. You're, you're going to get that job. You're going to start making money. And then uh, for the end of the week, dear Aquarius, you also are getting the moving through troubled waters. So you're coming out of these troubled waters. Um, if you indeed were looking for a job, so you finally got that job. You're coming out of the troubled waters. And then just in case you thought things were going too good, the Sacred Spirit Oracle, uh, we've got Kundalini Rising. Now, this can be either good or bad. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. It's a rising of energy. Kundalini is the... Like, I'm going to mess this up. Well, there's two snakes, really. They say one, but it's two, and they, they kind of make a, a DNA spiral going up your spine, up into your... So you'll have a fire in the mind, uh, Aquarius, is coming towards you. Uh, could come through sex. It could come through uh, a near-death experience. Uh, sometimes I've heard of that happening when the Kundalini kind of experience. Uh, the one thing I haven't actually heard, um, and I've heard the opposite, is Kundalini Yoga doesn't actually work. So you're going to raise your chakras, your Kundalini. You kind of have to concentrate on each one of them lighting up as they go up. Now, I'm not going to promise that that's going to bring you a Kundalini rising, but that's the only way I know <laughs> that you can make it happen. So, uh, but... 
that enlightenment is coming to you. That's what I'm going to say. So, thank repeat. you. Your Kundalini is rising. Enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> but I find you, if you can. <laughs> if you can. Well, I find that very interesting because the cards that I picked was was the red stop card and the uh, chakra card bringing in through the energy of the hematite. All right. So this one says foundation. Foundation is what the castle of your soul is built upon. So if you are doing things to um, to crumble that foundation that you have, and and Phil, I don't know much about the Kundalini thing, but doesn't it start from the base? So yeah, it's a got, root chakra, rising right. root chakra. So if you don't have that real strong, secure base, you know that's that's where that the Kundalini starts from. So you may need to concentrate a little bit on making yourself feel um, secure, feeling rooted, um, and then then the card that that came in after that is the yellow um, with the determination card. And the chakra card is the solar plexus and it's coming in with the energy of the rutilated quartz. And it says confidence. No one will believe in you if you don't believe in yourself, be your own cheerleader. So you've got to start with this, a strong foundation and then you got to keep believing in yourself. And, um, and I think it was, let's see, did somebody else do a read or in, in your reading, Phil, when you were talking about something new coming in or a new job, you know, be confident. Right, yeah. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. So it would be a new job or a new, yeah. new source of money. Okay, but well, that's that's what I have for Aquarius. Link, link, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, it was. yeah. I'm goes. changing over my diaries if anyone wants to know what I'm doing. You know, trying to work out two diaries, I'm getting myself very confused. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm going to my new diary. <laughs> so I'm taking this opportunity whilst listening to you guys. So <laughs> who wants to go next, Aquarius for Aquarius? I'll go next. Oh, where am I? There okay. I am. Don't you? Yeah. Okay. For Aquarius, the beginning of the week. Um, it's funny that you guys were talking about the Kundalini and the balance and everything. I got the balance card. Mm. So the beginning of the week, you will have to be balanced. Uh, you will need to, whatever it is that um, it could be a new job because I get Okay, in the middle of the week, I'm, I'm stay balanced because in the middle of the week, you're going to have heart. Um, well, it says heartache and loss, but I think um, well, it could be the heartache of losing a job that you really liked or uh, just keep yourself balanced because uh, whatever this is, you're, you're going to be grieving a loss or something some kind of some kind um just stay balanced know that everything is going to be okay because i think for all of us um there's a foundation that we have to have for our achievements and so whatever happens in the beginning of the week stay balanced don't don't fret grieve the loss acknowledge it but let it go because at the end of the week, um, there's there's going to be a foundation that you can actually work with, and you will be able to achieve whatever goals it is that you are working towards. So that's what I get for Gemini this week. You read those cards very smoothly, Concha, very yeah. easily, very smoothly. You're not struggling at all with those cards. Not that you have already, but it just feels as if right. the information just seems to just flow. Did anyone else feel that? Yes. Roger? She has yep. had a breakthrough. Yeah. Yep. A big Thank breakthrough. You. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very surprised. You've definitely gone way up <laughs> in your reading skills. Um, as Thank all you. of you have. I mean, Thank you. I appreciate it, that. It showed in the cards I pulled for Concha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, when you pulled those two, I was like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want to go, Vera? Yes, I want to go. While I was waiting and holding that card in my hand, and I am literally squashing that card. There's so much force between my arms. While I was, I'm holding it, it felt, I felt not a heartbeat, a heartbeat that was fast, but then started to reset Ooh. to a calm energy. Well, if your heart beats fast, it can be that you feel lost, you feel insecure, you feel ungrounded or unbalanced because that all oh, i'm going to tip over that brings in fear but rem yeah i uh, i got a word like this remember you can always reset yourself no matter what it is possible Situations where normally would have brought a lot of fear, anxiety, or whatever. And here comes that mantra thing you can do when you go to bed. You're nervous, you don't. Maybe you have an interview. And you are scared, you're not getting your point across that you cannot show the real you now you can make that in a scenario work through that scenario but then in a way work through it to a point you are on top of the world you are number one and you are excellent in expressing yourself you take keep control over the interview and keep that scenario going before you go to bed or when you're in bed keep it rolling how you are in full control in listening mode when that is necessary because that's important too that's how you train your subconscious mind to the goals you want to go to. And now I'm finally able to release the card. Because the card that came out. Open your heart, Archangel Gamuel. Thank you, Gamuel, for removing the barriers around my heart. Because when you have those barriers around your heart, how can you reach it? How can you shine? This can be possible when you put that new way of learning in your sleep, because a lot of things you process in your sleep, but that's also how you can change bad dreams, nightmares, whatever just keep in mind you are a warrior you can overcome anything that's how you train yourself and you can pull yourself out of any conditioned belief conditioned system even though you have to still work in that system but you can still pull that mind out of it so that's what I got for Aquarius. Thank you. Um, okay. Has everybody been for Aquarius? Yep. Yeah, so. Okay. So the beginning of the week for Aquarius, I see everything a bit upside down, patiently waiting, trying to see things from other people's points of view, trying to be as fair as you can. Um, I feel that there is an exchange <coughs> coming that is going to be very beneficial to you. Um, somebody giving you something, you're taking it, um, you're giving something else. It's like a barter thing. I'll do this for you if you do this for me. 
Um, and I feel that this is going to feel the right way to do things. Um, so it's, it's like you don't feel as if you're being taken for granted. They don't feel as if they're being taken for granted and everybody's happy. You're going to be trying something different as well, trying something you've never done before. Um, this is going to be a little bit daunting, but um, as Vera was saying, sometimes we have to push ourselves a little bit further, you know, outside of that comfort zone and, and do it. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's the best thing for us sometimes. By the middle of the week, um, I'm seeing a clear out, getting rid of um, things, objects, um, going through drawers, going through cupboards, sorting out what it is that you don't need anymore. Okay, you're, there's a little bit of chaos in the home whilst you're doing this. I feel that you really want to start something new. Okay, so it's like in your mindset, you want to be clear of everything um, that is gonna distract you so that you can put all your energy into this new project. I'm seeing self-employment around you. I'm seeing um, the start of this project going to be making you some money. It's a good idea um, that you have and it's, it's something that can pay off. You have to just be focused and to believe in yourself and to put the right amount of energy into it. Your psychic ability is gonna get stronger and stronger. Um, it could be that your um, guides and your helpers are gonna nag you and nag you and nag you until you actually do this. Um, it could be they've already been doing that and, um, and you've gone, all right, I give in, I'll go for it, I, I will. Um, by the end of the week, you then have the star. It's like your dreams, your wishes, everything that you wanted, it's all there. Looking at the other deck, you've got the world card. Um, so your wish is about to come to fruition. It's there. It's all there for you. You just have to take that leap of faith. You just have to kind of believe that you can do it and then you will. Here it is, it's right in front of you. So there you go, Aquarius. <laughs> Good. Sarah said, I'm really feeling this Aquarius reading. Um, wow. So good i'm pleased because it's uh, it's exciting times all right so we're on our last one aren't we guys Yay. <laughs> well done, Yay. Everyone. <laughs> this has been a bit of a marathon do you know what my clock hasn't cut it doesn't come up anymore on my zoom i'm really upset about it I used to have a timer so i could see how long this has been going on it hasn't got it i can't hear you vera you'll have to go back into <laughs> What? Oh well, you don't want to know what time it is. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, you, it, it's Six probably 56. turned off somehow. Is it? So, yeah. Then when you go to the your account, you can put it back on. All right, I'll have a look. Oh, one way. Yeah, it's two a.m. here. <laughs> That's early for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, it's 3 a.m. for Vera. 10, it's almost 10 p.m. here, Eastern time. Is that a late night for you? No, not particularly. No, I I used to be, you know, go to bed early, wake up early. And that's my circadian rhythm is is leading me in a whole other direction. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a lot more staying up late at night and waking up late in the morning. Yeah. That's what I like. Okay, who wants to go first for the last one? Well, you know what? Well, I'll, I'll go first because actually this one is only going to be a soul card. So I'll just oh, they're they're I really feel like pushed to my limits because you know this is Greg's getting excited. He's a triple <laughs> Libra. Libra's mine as well. Got Libra rising. Yes, I have Libra rising. <laughs> okay. We're ready. Um, Okay. Well, oh, this is an interesting card. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling a lot of mother earth nurturing energy with this. So let's see. Let's see what's coming through with this. This is a card of nurturing. Um, 
nurturing ourselves, nurturing our ideas. The more that we nurture ourselves, then those ideas and our gifts and our love that we share out to others is even stronger. The more we take the time to take care of ourselves, the better our care of others will be stronger and it will be a light, a, a light that just keeps shining and then shining and catching and shining, catching and shining. And it's just, it's an unstoppable force, but it starts with us and sharing it out to others. And the more we do this, this, oh, the card is even getting hot in my hands. <laughs> the more that we do this and we share our light, it, it's, it's going to reach like an, uh, you know, an almost overwhelming, but in a good way, an overwhelming level that, that it's, it's completely unstoppable at that point. And that's where we're heading. Um, that's what we're doing. And this is just a card of encouragement to, to keep doing that. You know, if we keep shining out our light beacons, we, we will be attracting those, you know, that others that, that need the light and when their light catches, they'll be sharing it onto others. So yes, so that's, that's the message of, of this card. Whew. Okay. Well done. Well done. That's pure channeling. It's a ripple effect, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And it was in English. It was, it was in, it was in English. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go next? I'll go next. Um, it kind of it kind of coincides with what Sherry was saying because the first card for Libra for the beginning of the week is the light card. I love that. Card. There's there's been a lot of a lot of um, um, enlightening things things that are coming to to light, um, whatever that is, and for this person or these or Libra. Um, a lot of enlightenment. They keep their light shining bright. There's um, in the middle of the week, though, there will be sacrifice to make a sacrifice. And now that might be, be a, a thought that they had or a belief that they had. What's come to light, they may have to sacrifice that that thought and um, relearn whatever that thought is around. I'm not sure what, I don't know if it's a, um, oh, it's a belief. It might have been a skew before, but because they've been enlightened in the beginning of the, of the week, in the middle, they start to realize, oh, I need to let that go. That's not for anybody's higher good mine or anyone else's so by the end of the week sharing that belief or that change um it's going to be peachy at the end of the week <laughs> i see all these wonderful looking peaches but at the bottom the tree is hitting the world it's almost like the tree of life it's starting to make sense um our old beliefs are out the door the new beliefs are coming in and it's going to prosper everyone. Um, and you see the hands, how they unite and how they, they're, they're there for comfort and for um, support. So that's what I got for Libra. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Concha. I love You're your welcome. puppy's nose. <laughs> I know. I already took him out, and now I don't know what he wants. He wants to know. He wants kisses. Want kisses. He my does. big palooka. This is my big palooka, Taz. Oh, let's have a look. Here he is. Oh, Can you say hi to everybody? Look at that love. Oh, I love you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's my big palooka. Is it nice having your dogs back with you? Oh my gosh, you just don't know. 
it's wonderful to have them back but they can be um pain in the bum yes <laughs> i don't suppose you want to tell that story that you told me do you oh my god <laughs> <laughs> okay guys I'm, you know i'm an old lady right okay whatever i have two big dogs right yeah so they i decided to take them out together i, I usually walk them together and this after that afternoon i took them out but the people next door have a little dog she's so pretty she's such a pretty little dog anyway <clears throat> they got excited because they saw a new dog right and in i was just changing hands with the leashes because i was trying to get them comfortable in my hand dropped sadie's and she runs right over to the little dog and you know she's kissing noses and doing all kinds of stuff meanwhile <laughs> i'm standing there in my yard uh, by my trailer and Taz pulls and he knocks me down, drags the shit out of me. My pants are rolling down. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> so you know how when you fall or something like that happens, you you know, you immediately get up. I'm, I'm trying to hang on to his, still hang on to his leash and everything. And he's freaking dragging me. And I'm, I got up and I'm trying to pull my pants up and walk over. <laughs> the lady in the meantime had pulled, picked up Sadie's leash and she hands it to me. And while she's handing it to me, Taz decides that he's going to attack the little dog. I mean, she's like mid sized dog. And I'm like, God, oh my God. So mm. I, she, hanged on, she hung on to Sadie while I said, because I said, let me take him back inside. <laughs> and all this time, right, I, I'd fallen. I, you know, didn't realize until later on that, I, that my right side was all screwed up, you know, because that's oh. where I, I fell and I, was, I slid. But I'm fine now. As you can see, I, I nursed myself back to, and I kept telling myself, it's all okay. It's all going to go away. And it did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you talk oh, about oh, being yeah. embarrassed you, you you know you oh god i looked around the trailer court to see who might have seen me and everybody saw me <laughs> <laughs> i, I oh, promised her god. if so i ever come across a video of a video yeah, you where she's been that, dragged yeah. behind a dog <laughs> and my pants are her. rolling down <laughs> yes <laughs> I don't think that was, they oh, took that you was for so crazy. They <laughs> just laughing in the chat there, just thinking that's very funny. <laughs> oh it, has, it has a reason. Because <laughs> <clears throat> they were boarded perfectly, but when they have more dogs, they have not enough time to properly walk a dog on the leash. So right. is now trying to reconstruct yeah. now pulling. Oh my God, that was so funny. <laughs> now I take them out one at a time. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh my God. Does he, right? have, does he have some hound dog in him? Yes, he's a yeah. German Shepherd and hound. Uh -huh. Yeah, because our yeah. dog is a hound. And I, I, he's doing the same thing, like with yeah. the paw and the nose, mm -hmm. sticking the nose up. And he yeah. has dragged me. I mean, I've had so many falls and accidents and <laughs> of our dog because he's like yeah. 100 pounds yeah yeah he, he's 120 pounds yeah yeah he's when he was a puppy he was um he was a big dog he was a big puppy his paws were like so enormous yes yeah yep. yeah oh, that, I'm sorry that <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh, yeah Never a dull moment, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go next with this Libra reading? Oh, look. Oh, oh my God. Oh, look. He's sorry, <laughs> Mom. He didn't mean to pull you over, Mama. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. You're my big Kaluka. He didn't mean to. I love you. <laughs> Who's, oh, who crying. else needs to go? Is it um Phil? Are you ready? Oh, well, I guess I can go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna wait till the late because I'm. It's not as late for me as it is for these other ladies, but okay. It's only nine oh seven here. 
So we're starting off with the seven of pinnacles for you, Libra. Uh, so you're gauging whether it's time to harvest or not, is the, the what I get out of this card. Uh, she's checking that fruit to see whether it's ripe, right? So yeah, you're, you're checking to see whether it's time to harvest yet. Um, and the reason you might be checking is because we're in the middle of the week. You've got the Ten of Wands and you are overburdened. You've, uh, you're, but it's a number of completion, right? Ten. So, yeah. Gonna, hump day is going to be you really are humping. <laughs> it's a, you got a heavy load to carry uh, through the midweek. It better not be. Mr. Prescott. Well, I mean, what he's carrying there, what is he's got a, one kid that's, a, well, a, a child, we'll say, on his back that's playing a lira, and the other one. Does humping mean the same thing in America as it does in England? Oh, I'm sorry. Poor <laughs> use of words. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for using that word. Okay. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Didn't mean to get you in trouble, Greg. <laughs> and uh, for the end of the week, though, you're going to like this because it's a nine of pinnacles. Uh, riches abound. Uh, you're, you're being rewarded for all that hard work that you did through the midweek. All that humping. <laughs> right. Hump day, hump day. That's what I was trying to say. But Okay. And then uh, I pulled the... Uh, astrological oracle card for you and you got the venus card well venus is about love and finance so it kind of mirrors the ten of pentacles here so i'm going to say uh you leavers are going to be able to reap some rewards uh art i mean she's about art finances and love right so in one of those three areas you should find Oh, and um, strangely enough, uh, Venus is in Aquarius right now. So it goes back to the other sign, though, doesn't it? But anyway, so there we've got Venus as your overarching energies, uh, all about love, finance, and art. There you go. Sounds like a good, good uh, week for you, even though there's going to be a lot of work in the middle of the week, a lot of burden. Oh, lovely, Phil. Thank you. Who else has got a card for um, Libra? Vera, yeah. Don't you be talking about humping? <laughs> for my bad. I'm my bad. I'm sorry. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> I'm joking, really. What? I do think it fits in a little, if you bend it a little. Honor your feelings. Archangel Haniel, thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. And I immediately hear that they suggest that it's time to, when you feel something, eh, you're, you're busy with something, all of a sudden you feel a laugh emotion coming up or just all of a sudden out of the blue, the tears want to roll. Now you can continue with doing what you do or just give that moment that you feel that emotion come and sit with it a little while. Just be with that moment, mo emotion in that moment, in the now. When you do that, you are, if you think, oh, why would I do it? You're healing yourself because you acknowledge your emotion. And which can be on any level. And I feel that 
especially for the upcoming week and with the energies that is about to change. And hmm, I wanted to say it is going to change and I switch it to about to change. So there's something, it's getting closer. And I think it's really important to acknowledge the emotion, but also sit with it. Not just say, okay, I feel tearful. Nothing happens when you just do that. But when you feel those tears, just breathe through it and keep that in mind. Okay, that emotion, all of us, maybe about a loss emotion that comes up. Yeah, well, it's a long time ago. Yeah, right. No, I'm pushing. No, nope. sit with it. Just acknowledge it, embrace it, breathe through it. Because it does come back for you to heal that. So that instead of thinking, oh my God, I miss that person so much. You will only think, yeah, I miss, the per I miss that person. I miss that loved one. But oh my God, we had so much fun together. And you end up with a smile. Instead of every time you think of that loved one, that you wind up in tears and just walk away with it. When you take that time for a second or two, because that can be enough, or five seconds, it can be really healing. That's what I cut. Thank you. Let those tears flow it and make you weeness. Okay. And a part of it, if it's difficult to do it on your own that's when i was allowed to pull this one connect with music, connect with music. Oh. a certain music that let you know that brings those emotions doesn't it yeah okay has uh, sheree been for libra yes. you've been yes Who's been? yes and Ponch has been haven't they so yep. it's me all of you only you, only me, only you. Are okay, so I've got the lovers card. Okay, the beginning of the week. Um, so for some of you, it might mean literally that there is a, a love life situation going on um, for you. It feels as if you've got to um, honor your pathway. So sometimes we are wives. Sometimes we're um, mothers and sometimes we're aunties and you know or sometimes we're brothers sometimes we're husbands honor the fact that you are whatever you are to the other person but you've got to remain true to you as well who are you and what makes you happy are you happy and that sounds like a very innocent question doesn't it but just want you to sit there quietly and just say, am I happy? And if the answer is no, then what can you do to make yourself happy? And that is a quest that you now need to go on. Okay, it doesn't matter what birth sign you are, this will be relevant to everybody. So the Libra energy is about balance. Okay, and so Librans, they tend to balance things out. They tend to kind of weigh everything up and they've probably already worked out whether they're happy or not happy already. Okay, so um, that's what they do. But you have to make sure that you are living your own life as well as being having the responsibility of what, what you've decided to have. You know, if you've decided to be a wife or a husband, if you've decided to be close to your family and be the best brother or sister that you can be or, or whatever that role is. I think it's time um, at the beginning of the week that you've decided that you're going to be everything to yourself as well, okay? Um, so you're gonna be concentrating on a project, okay? And this project, you've already got the skills, okay? You've literally planted them a while ago. It could be that these skills came for when you was a child, okay? 
didn't um, didn't um, Phil start with the Seven of Pentacles? I think Phil had the Seven of Pentacles in the beginning. So yeah, this is about kind of you know should is it time to to take that gamble? Is it time to spread my wings in a business idea? You know that business idea that's been mulling around in my head. Is it time to do it? Is it time to reap the rewards from the things that I have been doing already? You know, um, and that's what the seven pentacles feels like. Um, we've got the card that I represent in the Light Seers card as the Libran energy, which is quite funny, the King of Swords. Um, by the middle of the week, we've got the Hermit card. And that can, that can basically mean that, you know, sometimes we need quiet reflection. Sometimes we need to say, I need to think things through. Um, and Librans do that quite often. Um, but this is dissecting, dissecting the pros and the cons to every situation that's around you. Um, it sounds as if it's very cold and calculating, but actually it does help you to decide um, whether things are fair or not, okay? Um, now, there is help around you, but sometimes we don't see it. Sometimes we choose to stay in a situation that we're in that we perhaps shouldn't be in, okay? Maybe it's like there's, there's the way out behind you. I mean, um, I can't remember out of tarot tuition who actually saw this in the Night Seers cards, but, you know, I hadn't seen it yet. So um, this person feels miserable, feels sad, but they've got the key and there's the, there's the lock. OK, so sometimes we have to turn around and say, I don't have to stay here. I don't have to be stuck where I am. I've got my choices. OK, sometimes the choices seem too hard. But that sometimes that means that you have to dissect things and and put them into stepping stones. Well, first of all, I need to. say if you want to to um, learn something that's going to cost money. Say if you want to leave the person you're with, that's going to cost money because you've got to find somewhere else to live. Perhaps if you, so what you're doing is you are putting a little bit of money by and a little bit of money by and a little bit of money by and planning in your head what it is that you want. The universe will bring you what else you've got to do. So find what wishes you want, find out what, what is stopping you and then set the stepping stones up. But at least your inner child will know that you are honouring their feelings and doing something about if you're feeling unhappy. Um, now, if you are already doing this, then this to me feels as if this is a very good week that you're going to be firing on all cylinders to get what you want. OK, so watch out, world. Um, it's it's like there's a rocket um, that has been launched um, to do with your your dreams. OK, and that's what that's what you're getting. Um, don't forget that you have people around you that care about you, that want to help you, okay? Um, the Eight of Wands means there's nothing stopping you apart from your fear, your anxiety, um, or your belief that you can't do it. That's the only things that are stopping you. You've got the chariot at the end of the week, which says, let's look at things in black and white. Let's weigh things up in black and white. Perhaps juggle the money around and see if you can eke out a little bit of extra money um, to put by for the dream that you have. Ask spirit, connect yourself to the spirit world. And don't forget that you are capable of doing more than you realize. So there you go, that's Libra. Thank you, that was beautiful. <laughs> um, Exciting <all> right. times. <clears throat> So I want to thank everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for thank you, thank for doing you, that. Thank you all. I so appreciate you coming on here. And Stephanie was there, giving Yay! us her energy. She was. <laughs> yeah. Even though she's not feeling well, bless her, she's there. Yeah. Next time. Pouring <laughs> that love out. And Pat, thank you for everybody in the chat here. Hang out with us. Yeah. Pardon? Ellie. Yeah. Before we before we go, is Greg still here? Are you still here, my love? He was looking forward to, to Libra, so it might be. Okay, because I I just um I just out of the blue pulled a 
card from uh, the Spirit Messages, the Daily Guidance from John Holland. And I pulled this for him especially. I mean, I, I just actually just kind of pop, popped out. <laughs> it was weird because oh, yeah. I was thinking about him. And I, I, um, I, can you see that? It's the he'll love watch card. This, he'll watch this later if not. So don't worry. Okay. Get it. Well, th this is for Greg. Yeah. And it was the love card from the spirit messages. And it says, love is the foundation of your existence. And you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that people that propels you through life. And with all the stuff that was coming out about Libra, the light at the beginning, the, you know, the changes that need to be made, uh, the outcome being that it would be uh, beneficial to all. It all happens because of this. I think mm -hmm. that's what the spirit message is saying to him or, you know, to him. I don't know why I just thought I would pull a card for Greg because <laughs> I knew he was a Libra or, you know, he said he was a Libra. So yeah but anyway that's for you greg i don't oh. know if it resonates with you or not but I, that's what I, I would say so i would say so definitely because it's like he's he's always shocked when he gets lovely feedback and things he's always shocked and it's like you shouldn't be shocked about how, how much you put out there for others right like all the videos he's doing you know for other people mm -hmm. at the moment they're trying to help people awaken and things and all the people he's he doesn't he doesn't take that on um as if well, you know it's like a, so that card definitely resonates i feel for him that that's that's Thank probably you. why it came out sit yeah, with it it just popped out so it's like yeah, yeah. sit with that emotion with it. Mm -hmm. yeah even though if you have a trouble accepting good positive feedback and and mm. and and all those things mm. sit with it because there's a reason why it keeps popping up and it needs to be healed. Yes. Mm -hmm. It needs to be healed. Right. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. What a lovely night. I like, I'm, I'm yes. so glad that I got up at four o'clock yeah. in the afternoon to do this. <laughs> 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 I still can't get over that. I was like, oh my God, where did the day go? I guess I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, it's wow. been wonderful. It's been wonderful. So it's if anybody... Funny. You guys can go whenever you want to. I'm just going to do a few announcements here. Um, yeah. All right. Well, goodbye. Okay. Thank, Thank you again. You, All right. Bye bye. Good Thank night, you. everybody. Good Love night, you night Concha. Good night, Vera. Good night. Maybe we can talk a little bit later if if it's okay with you. Yeah, sure. Good night okay. to all you beautiful ladies. Oh, thank you, Phil. Oh. Good night. Thank, thank you, you for being there, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> Get better. Bye, Stephanie. Bye, Stephanie. <laughs> I, will, uh, I will go to. Thank you, Vera. Then uh, Concha it. and I can talk a little. Okay. Right, lovely. Bye. Bye. Bye, darling. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs> okay. So, wasn't that lovely? Everybody joining in. It's so nice. Um, I appreciate everybody's help there and so much love coming from um from the people in the chat so so yeah i just wanted to go through um the course that is coming up here um you know just very quickly it's the 15 week um course psychic development you do not have to um do every week you can come and go it's up to you um there is um each week we'll be doing something different. I'm going to tell you kind of what that is um, each week. And um, it's five pounds, or which works out around seven dollars if you're in the USA. Um, the time for the course is 7.30 p.m. UK time, which is um, 2.30 p.m. Eastern and 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. Um, you can pay via the website is psychicalley.net i'll be telling you each week what we're doing next week so you'll know ahead of time tomorrow which is the 14th of march uh, 2022 we'll be doing celestine prophecy so that's linked with the film and the book 
and it's all about your spiritual awakening and basically dissecting kind of what you did and and how you at what stages you're at and it could be you know that you've um you've got to the higher stages you know the there's a 10 insights although they're they're now saying 11 insights now um but the story is wonderful and i have put the film it, it is free to anybody to watch um it's on youtube you just put in celestine prophecy full movie and it is there for you to watch and it's a beautiful story okay so it's not a documentary like the, the book the secret this is um an actual film okay with a storyline and, and the storyline is wonderful so um so yeah we'll be doing that this monday tomorrow um you can join um myself on patreon if you wanted to um patreon i'm doing um i give away a little something each for each tier okay so it's like a membership so i know people in england don't know much about patreon um although I don't, I've not heard anybody talking much about it. It's like a membership, a Patreon membership. Um, so the, um, the magician level um, is $1.11 a month, which works out at 86 pence. And you, uh, once a month, we get together for a video chat. Um, I give everybody a little reading. Everybody gives everybody a little reading and we get together a bit like this, but we're reading for each other we're chatting and we're keeping in touch, okay? The next level up um, is $5.55 per month, which works out at four pounds, 15 pence. And that's the monthly video chat. And this time you can then ask me a question, okay? You can ask me a question about your love life, home, work, um, and I will record a reading, a very small reading for you, just a five minute one, just to, and, and it just answers the question or gives you some insight um, into your question. That's $5.55 a month. So you can ask a question a month, okay? Um, the Hierophant, Hierophant um, level is um, $11.11, and, that is, and that's per month, and that is £8.21 um, UK money um and that's monthly chat classes and workshop videos okay so those classes and workshops um so any workshops i've done i put onto a facebook page and i add you as a as a um a friend on there and you can watch any of the workshops any of the classes that i've done old patreon meetings anything like that they're all on there Okay, so you can go over any of those, okay, and they are, um, they're available to you, okay. Um, the next level is the star, which is $22.22 .22 per month, and it's £16.42, and that is, I send you a mystery gift, okay. So anywhere in the world, doesn't matter where you are, it could be Australia, doesn't matter, I'll send you a mystery gift, it'll be posted to you. Um, and that is you also get the monthly chat and you get classes and workshops um, videos so you can see those. The world card, the highest tier is $33.33 and it works out at £24.63p and that is monthly video chat. Um, then you get the classes and workshops videos, you get the mystery gift sent to you and you also get a 20 minute month by month reading. Okay, so each month you get um, a reading um, in, um, recorded and sent to you. Okay, so um, that's kind of the Patreon. If anybody would like to join me on Patreon, you can go to um, patreon.com forward slash psychic alley. Okay, so. Um, I'll put um, some of these links um, in the video here. Um, so there's that. To do with the 15 week course, week one, Celestine Prophecy, week two, Akashic Records, Life Path. Week three, Enlightenment Cards, Psychic Counseling and Your Inner Child. Week four, Channeling Your Guides, finding out who they are, what they wanna to say to you, where you found them, 
where they found you. Week five, graphology, handwriting analysis. Week six, working with the senses. So what we're doing is we're, we'll shut off our hearing and then see if we can feel things. Um, we try and get our taste um, and memories um, coming in to do with that smell. So it's like we're losing, using all the Claire audiences, uh, Claire sentience and all, all of the Claire's. Week seven is numerology, which is numbers, angel numbers. Week eight is past life recall, timeline effect. Week nine is crystals and crystal readings. Week 10 is galactic communication. That's channeling through the galactic energies. Um, week 11 is oracle and angel cards with clairvoyance. Week 12 is alternative readings such as I Ching, runes, symbols, doodle readings, reading anything really, anything that you've got, we'll have a go at reading those. Week 13, three levels of psychic professional readings. So um, what you need to do in order to become professional at your um, gifts. Um, week 14 is clearances of people, objects, places, and that will include soul rescue and um, cleansing um, all, all sorts of places and things. Sometimes we get an object that um, we bring into our house. It might be second hand and it's got kind of funny energy. Um, it'll teach you how to cleanse that and get um, that balanced again. And to finish off week 15, I'll be doing paranormal investigating orbs and tools used. So, um, to know the difference between what a, an orb looks like and what a dust particle looks like and asking the orbs to dance for us. It's, um, it's pretty, pretty great actually. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing. So that's the 15 week course. Like I said, you can do some of these. You don't have to do all of them. And if you can't attend these, I can, you can still pay the five pounds or the seven dollars um, and I will send you the recording of this class okay um, if you didn't want to be a patron obviously the the uh, cheapest way you're going to do it probably um, well, might not be the cheapest but is to be a patron I suppose um, patron um, the classes the cheapest classes one would be the eleven dollars eleven so maybe not but yeah so I can send you that for five five pounds so yes I just wanted to tell you about that um, so it's every Monday I will send you the zoom link you can um, join online um, it's the same zoom link every week um, if you want to be informed and you want to join a little spiritual family group um, you need support out there you're feeling lonely then please let me know and I will add you to our it's a group chat on messenger and everybody supports everybody. For instance, um, one of our ladies, Sue and McCarthy, um, she messaged earlier while we were kind of in our doing our, our astrology and she said her nephew um, has been um, hit by a car and he's critical. And so we all kind of support her and we send healing out and that. So don't feel lonely, please. If you want to be part of that and be informed about, you know, um, what's going on, you know, the workshops, the first, the first time you will find out about workshops or classes or meetings and things is it in the, in the group chat. Um, and also it's a support mechanism for spiritual people. So don't feel lonely. Let me know and I'll add you to it. Okay, that's it for me. Um, if you wanted to support my lovely husband, Greg Prescott, um, you can go to patreon.com forward slash in 5D. Okay, he does a lot of amazing work. You've seen all the videos he's done and he's doing now. Um, you can support his work so that he can do more um, by becoming a patron for him. Okay, and um, you can go to, um, if you wanted to purchase a quantum tie dye t shirt that he is making by hand, handmade. Um, and they've got um, quartz crystal sand in there and crystals and uh, they're vibrant, beautiful. Um, so you can check that out on 
um, in5d.net. Okay, so anyway, I'll leave it there. Um, take care, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye for now.